Ladies and gentlemen, thrilled to have you here for this epic discussion today. It's going to be a wild one. If you are like us, you like the controversial, you like the, the questions you're not usually allowed to ask in public, well, you're in good company, and especially for today's provocative debate. So I want to let you know, we are very thankful to have our guests here today, both Vash and Jesus is Lord, who goes by Jill for short. They are both here to duke this out in a friendly conversation and want to let you know if this is your first time here, consider hitting that subscribe button as we'll have more debates on politics, religion, even the <coughs> paranormal. We've got one on Halloween on whether or not demons exist. Damn. And we would love to have you here, whether you be Christian, atheist, Democrat, Republican, or one of the many strange creatures in between, we're glad to have you here as we try to be as, as hopefully as neutral and fair as possible so we, we really do want to promise that to the speakers and so call us out in the live chat if we ever seem like we are not being fair please do call us out publicly and with that I want to let you know both of the speakers have their links in the description so if you are enjoying what you're hearing you're like hmm i like that you can hear more at those links conveniently located below with that we are going to let I guess usually I would think that we would let the uh, affirmative start the, the conversation, but I mean, this is really ultimately up to you as we have a fully open conversation on this. So Vash or Jill, whoever feels a greater impetus towards starting, the floor is yours. And thanks for being here. It's my pleasure. I, I'd love to go first. Maybe a, a 90 second spiel, if I may. You bet. So <clears throat> there are two things that I want to clear up right off the bat. Um, first of all, it's not possible in a, in a deductive sense to know whether or not someone is racist. You can never really know what's going on in somebody's mind. It's entirely possible for somebody to do and say racist things, but to nonetheless internally be entirely non-bigoted, and the reverse for somebody to behave well and nonetheless hold deeply prejudiced thoughts. So we can know, we can't know for anyone, but I think we can make reasonable guesses with certain people, particularly public figures, if they have a long enough portfolio of behavior to extrapolate a position from. And the second thing I want to say is that I am not here to argue whether or not like the Democratic Party is also racist. Because whew, I got I gotta tell you, um, listen, I think Trump is racist as all get out, probably a lot more racist than many of his contemporaries, but um I'm not gonna stand up here on a leg and say that uh he's some crazy outlier and that the rest of Washington is full of uh, uh racially neutral do-gooders. Um, they're not, I, but you know, nonetheless, if we're taking one person to task, I think it prudent to focus on that in spite of whatever environment he may be in. Okay. That's all. And Jill, you can take it from there in whatever way you want. Okay. All right. Well, uh, thanks for having me on. Um, I'm truly honored to be on your show, uh, James. I'm also, uh, honored to defend one of the greatest presidents who've ever lived oh, yes. um, in my lifetime, at least. And uh, Vosh, uh, thanks for, for coming as well. Uh, Donald Trump is not a racist. Uh, it, it's very difficult to determine who is racist. Uh, and you're right, Vosh, it's very difficult to determine who uh, is in fact racist or who is just making decisions that you deem to be racist. Um, so it's a, I don't see a standard coming from the accuser to whereby they can justify their accusation um, so of racism. Um, what is racism? I'd like to hear a definition uh, because it seems as though that the things that Trump does are racist. But when a Democrat uh, does those same things, they're not deemed to be racist. Um, so uh, I'd like to hear a definition of racism and, uh, and, and an application of it. Yeah, absolutely. 
Um, <clears throat> so um, I'm not going to defend, as I said, I am not interested in defending the Democrat. I mean, my politics are radically farther to the left than the Democratic Party. I think the Democratic Party is largely, largely a collection of shills for the status quo who pretend at um, interest in fixing systemic issues, particularly in the black and Hispanic communities, but do nothing meaningful, at least not most of them, because to do so would be to challenge the people who give them their paychecks. So I'm, I, I mean, in terms of uh, big defenders, the Democratic Party, I'm not here for that. But in terms of a definition, a working definition of racism, there are so many facets to that question. Um, is is racism like believing there are differences between the races? Like, I don't like, I don't like a black people have darker skin than me. Like, this is pretty abstract. I think that the working definition of racism is that you think and act in ways that, um, uh, which indicate you regard people of different races as being fundamentally different to one another. There was an intrinsic either moral or physiological distinction between them that warrants different treatment. So when I say that, I mean either in a moral sense, black people or white people are just worse than one another, or, or brown people or Asian people, or whatever, um, that, you, that you just regard in a tribalistic sense, one group to be better or worse than another, or in a physiological sense, that you are making ascriptions about an individual's behavior or potential behavior based on some preconceived physiological status of the larger group. Um, in some cases, this is benign. I think it's, again, it's reasonable to assume a black person has darker skin than me. I'm lily white. That's fair. I'll take that one on the nose, you know. But um, there are other things, like, for example, people who peddle the, um, the race and IQ argument, who, um, who believe that um, uh, black people should be treated differently because there are differences in how they um, evoke demographically on account of socioeconomic um, uh, uh, distinctions between how they and white people are treated. In practice, there's no one set definition. But, it, but if there's a blurry line, Trump is miles past it. So I think that the specificities of what constitute racism are, in this case, largely unimportant. Okay, well, um, I've heard definitions and I've heard your philosophy on the matter of race, but I haven't heard anything that uh, empirically that I can put my finger on and say that's racism. Oh, it's the same uh, with sexism, right? I mean, it's really hard to get like a really pinpointed definition, you know? Oh, do you think like, oh, is it sexism to say that women are crazy on their periods? Well, technically, when women are uh, like experiencing a hormone cycle, there is an increase in like hormone levels and like emotional such and such. But if you're like using that to dismiss a woman's opinion or like stuff like that, then yeah, it's pretty fucking sexist. So there's a weird interplay. It's not so much the information as it is how you treat it and how you use that information as an excuse to treat others. Yeah. Okay. Well, actions have are done, and they those actions are interpreted. Did Trump do things that could be constructed? I'll say that as racially divisive. Oh, damn right. Oh, let's. All right. I'm here. Okay. So, if I may. As far back as the 1970s, the Trump administration has had lawsuits filed against it for discriminatory housing practices that excluded people of color. I believe one of the specific statements for the people he was willing to house in a given borough in the New York City was executives and Jews only. Um, furthermore, there are plenty of pieces of anecdotal evidence from those who are close to Trump that indicate that he may have racial prejudices. It was said by one of the executives of one of his casinos that they were told to clear black people from the floor when Donald or Molina would come to visit. Um, there's the Trump birth, there's the birther movement with Obama, there's the comments, the continuous comments about Mexico, the fact that he has made really weirdly dog whistly comments about um, black people and Hispanic people being responsible for committing most of the crime. Um, there's like a, a like a, a, I mean, the Charlottesville thing, the shithole countries comment, the fact that um, Michael Cohen made indictful comments to him concerning his racial prejudices when he was testifying before Congress. There is such a an overwhelming confluence of evidence to indicate that Donald Trump has racial prejudices of some kind or another. He asked a judge to recuse himself from commenting on a Trump University case because that American judge was of Mexican descent. That's like, oh, 
And that's from a, I mean, this is the president. There's a degree of decorum and respectability that is typically expected of people in the highest office in the country. But not only has he eschewed that decorum, he has eschewed it in a way which lays plain his biases. And I, I honestly don't know how anyone could defend that point. The Central Park Five is probably the most indictful example. He said that the settlement the Central Park Five received after uh, evidence was found and exonerated them of their case was a disgrace. And he continued to maintain the guilt of those five even through his presidential campaign. Like, that's over a decade ago. And he's still on it. 15, more than like 20, 25 years ago. And he's still pushing that rhetoric. Um, all the way through to 2016. I don't know what could explain people's behavior when they do that over and over and over again, apart from racism. And racism isn't some magical thing. It's not like only a few people are racist. Most people are racist. Um, so that's, I mean, that's my case. And we can discuss the specifics of any one of those incidences. But, um, but, but yeah, no, I think this is pretty open and shut. Well, sure. Let's pick one of the instances mm -hmm. of many. Boy, that was... Uh, are you okay? I'm pretty good, yeah. I mean, I stream okay. for a living, so I'm really good at talking for a long time. I suck, you know... You, I'm... Wanna, you need to... What you need to do is go down to the local ice cream shop and get you a nice uh, triple sundae with hot chocolate fudge. Listen, I'm lactose intolerant. If that was a threat against my person or well-being, I'll have you know that I have contacts in the FBI, and I will use that full force against you, should it okay. be needed. All right. Well, I don't want to be accused of manslaughter. Um, the Central Park Five. Mm -hmm. Let's let's start with that one. You mentioned that the um, individuals who were arrested, these thugs. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, they they're were... they're well, they're completely innocent. I don't know if thugs is a, is an accurate descriptor. Well, it's not an accurate descriptor for those who don't have all the evidence. I, I believe you are one of those individuals. I mean, they were exonerated like 15, 25 years ago, but unless you have evidence that I'm not aware yeah. of. Yeah, let me share. Uh, the Central Park Five were, in fact, guilty of rape. Um, what the confessions show, and the confessions are online for everyone to view, uh, um, the, the confessions show that they, in fact, did attempt to rape them. And this is all documented. Uh, if you Google um, Detective Eric Reynolds, who was the head detective on that case, I believe, uh, definitely on the case, not sure if he was the head detective, but he was interviewed by a man by the, by the man a man by the name of Larry Elder. I don't know if you've heard of him. Um, I'm not personally familiar with that name, no. Okay. Um, well, in this interview, he tells the truth about the Central Park Five um, young fellas. They, in fact, tried to rape the young lady, but were unsuccessful. They, without getting graphic, uh, they mentioned that they attempted to perform and they were unable to. Uh, the only one who was able to perform was the one who raped his own mother. Uh, he, in a park crowded with teenagers, was able to perform this act. So that just goes to show you uh, the level of his, uh, you know, sickness. I mean, maybe he was an exhibitionist. I don't know. Um, I mean, I, I, I apologize. I have never Which, heard any of this before. They were yeah, exonerated well, completely and given settlements of an exorbitant number by the city. Reyes, mm -hmm. the there person... was no DNA. But they, the reason why there was no DNA is because they were unable to perform. They attempted to rape her. They were participants in the act. Reyes... But there's no evidence of not that. The, that is what the tapes show. That is what the confessions show. Which... It was alleged that they were coerced, but that was a complete lie as well, uh, according to the lead detective, Eric Reynolds. But I, I don't know. I'm not personally familiar with the testimony of that detective. All I know is that these five were accused of raping this one white girl. And then mm -hmm. afterwards, a convicted serial rapist who was serving six. a life sentence. If then... they were all together, it was six of them. 
Reyes was, of course, the leader of the group. Reyes was never Usually. mentioned in the testimonies of any of the Central Park Five. There was no association between them, and he was serving a life sentence. Okay. All right. Well, I grew up in New York City, so let me give you a little bit of background. Just like when you're reading the scriptures, if you don't understand what's going on in the culture, uh, you may be confused as to like, the language and the, um, the particulars. When you wanted to go make money, you would go out to a, uh, a white neighborhood, okay? And you would do what we, what they call, not we, because I never participated in any of this stuff. Um, but you would do what they call walling, walling out. Okay, you would just go around beating up people at random. This is just what black people do in New York? They just all go out and beat up white people? That's correct. Okay. Some of them, <laughs> not all of them. Some of them. No, this was a thing. And they, they're still doing it today. The kid, they, they, well, whatever you see teens on the news, that's who they're talking about. They're talking yeah, about because, and the reason those incidents get highly publicized is because when they do, they're newsworthy. If this was some commonality amidst black culture in New York City, that wouldn't be a thing. Low-income areas are always going to have violent people not, because they don't no, have... No, it's not just blacks, Not because Reyes was not black, as you can tell. And he's Hispanic, right? Name. Yeah. Yeah, so no, this is, it's just about, yeah, low economic, um, so-called uh, forgotten neighborhoods, underprivileged, whatever you whatever Monica you want to I don't understand. Wait, I'm reading this now. Reyes was not known to have associated with any of the indicted defendants. He lived in a different neighborhood and none of them mentioned him by name in the original testimonies for the case. He wasn't okay. associated in any way, shape or form with these people. He raped those well, girls and then they got saddled with it. He was convicted on other crimes later. Well, this, this is the, this is not a, okay. Uh, as a, an educated myself, I know how these things form, how these mobs form. They don't form by way of uh, just random. Lee Reyes was just walking in the park, tiptoeing in the tulips, you know, with a red hat and with a spinner on the top. Uh, these people had gathered together to commit these crimes. What, this was a but they effort, didn't. A they were exonerated. Attack. No, what, no, what you're, what you're, saying, what you're saying right now is that a single detective after the fact gave testimony contradictory to the no, evidence no, no, presented no, sir, not was, only in the original case, saying, but also in the, um, in, the, um, in the, the overturn that happened in 2002. You're ignoring the evidence, sir. Let, let me explain what the evidence shows, okay? Not what the case, what the actual decision was. The decision was made based off the DNA. The confessions say they say this in the confessions the boys say we tried to have sex with her Re remember when you were a kid you thought that hey if i tell a little bit of the truth but i didn't commit the big crime i can get out of it what yeah so co wait. watch the confessions they're available online watch the confessions then the well, d no, and the I dna evidence doesn't oh. match with what those confessions can be coerced uh, uh, listen, listen, if you're a young terrifying you're if you're well, well, second Huh? One second. Oh, I'm, oh, I want to. I want to give. Me... I want to hold on, Jill. Forgive me. One second. I, I just want to give Vash a quick chance to respond, yeah. and then if we if we want to continue down this path, just for the audience, some of them are asking how this relates to Trump being racist. Well, yeah, I, and I would be happy to elucidate. And I apologize for interrupting you right there. I'm just very excited. I'm a happy guy. Okay. The reason why this is related to Trump is because Trump referred to these people as savages, put out a piece in the New York Times calling for their execution, and then um, continued to uh, accuse them of being um, uh, guilty for this crime um, up into his presidential run, which is really weird because this was a highly racialized um, uh, criminal event that took place back in the 1990s. There was a whole bunch of publicity over it. And Donald Trump's involvement in the publicity of the case was evident in all cases. I don't know what this is about like a testimony being contradictory with the with the evidence presented, but I don't feel comfortable saying that Trump's um, conviction that these people are guilty for the crimes they were exonerated of is made valid because one detective gave a testimony contrary to the mountains of evidence and the different fact that they lived in different neighborhoods and the fact that no mention of Reyes was made during the original trials and the fact that DNA evidence exonerated them like one detective and like some confused kids giving half like jumbled stories at the time is not enough to overturn the body of evidence that was sufficient for the state of New York to declare that they were not guilty of the crimes they were convicted and to award them tens of millions of dollars 10 years after they were um, put to jail. That would be a wild, like for the, like it takes a lot to overturn a case of that severity and of that popularity and to award money of that amount afterwards. That would not be done if there was video 
evidence out there of them plainly admitting to the crime and some story that added up about them attempt five guys attempting to rape this one woman but like not being able to get it up and then one other guy who none of the other five guys knew getting in and actually doing the rape that's like a, that's like such a that is such a weird i like i i, I don't know how i would um I don't know how I would characterize that um, that take on the uh, on the the, um, the the crime Central Park Five. It's weird to those who haven't heard the tapes, which you already admit you haven't heard them. But if you take the time, Avash, to watch the tapes, watch the confessions yourself, the kids are telling you what happened. They all say that they attempted. I think maybe three of the was it five? Three of the five say that. So it wasn't all five of them, okay? So you you win there, okay? They all say that they attempted to rape her and they were unable to perform. That is what they say in their confessions. Now, how the DA got around or how the defense got around was they claimed that this uh, confession was coerced and the jury or the grand jury believed them. Yeah, that, okay? that does happen. That was, there was no evidence that that was actually the case. Uh, so, and the parents were present as well. So the, the uh, documentary you saw on HBO or uh, YouTube or Netflix or whatever was, was a, a complete lie. Uh, the head detective on the case testifies to this um, on the Larry L. I'm sorry, I'm going Saturday. to be frank. I don't believe you. I mean, the state, okay. of, the state of New York had access to all evidence available and they chose to exonerate and, uh, and award tens of millions of dollars Based anyway. on the DNA. Sir, you're the, yes, DNA, yes, hold on. All evidence was presented. If me, if the DNA evidence was was that. was co was um, exonerating evidence for yeah. them, then that um, evidence of them confessing also would have been relevant okay. to the crime. Like the, had, this is all relevant. You had a lot of time, so let me let me get a, a few points in because you often you're getting three or four, and I'm coming back with one. One thing um, we have to do is okay. the, to try to get back to. This one might be uh, like you could say a subcomponent on which there might of a broader be. point, yeah. And so yeah. we, if there's a way to circle back well, such that both parties feel like they've kind of gotten their points out on this. No, I actually, let me, let me just say this about the case because he's ignoring evidence. Evidence does not convict you of rape, but they did smash a man's head in with a brick and they did attempt to rape her. So the reason why there's no evidence of that is because their confessions, that's the evidence, sir. If I confess to saying, yeah, well, I wasn't, I didn't rape her, I didn't rape her, I tried to do it, but I couldn't perform. The, that is the, what they the fact said. that uh, The fact that confessions can be coerced or manipulated oh, okay. through detectives so is well known. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. listen, listen, I'm, I'm sorry if your enlightened five head take on an exoneration that took place 15 years ago is greater than that of the legislative abilities of the state of New York City. But I'm right. of the opinion that when psychiatrists say coercions can be coerced, they are generally speaking the truth. Okay. Uh, the the truth. for yourself. That's, that's what I would, you can conclude on your own. You don't have to rely on um for say or, or hearsay or um you know a second-hand opinion on the matter so do you, you so do you think donald trump yourself do you think donald trump had an extremely principled opinion on the validity of the confessions and the the invalidity of the exoneration when he was continuing to claim that these people were savages and that they he should be executed have. for their guilty claim he if he did not have the rape charge he certainly had the brick to the man's face what no i need previously. evidence of that Wh who bricked whose Sorry, face i don't think you're familiar with the case at all I really don't. So uh, Just, you're making all these accusations about Trump. You're, you're, I chose one out of the bunch, and we've already determined that you really don't know what's going whoa, on. Whoa, 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 okay, hold on, buddy. We haven't determined anything. What you have done is indicate that you are unaware of the fact that coercive uh, interviews you know can produce uh, confessions that are invalid in court. This is like this is ex this is literally like uh, uh, criminal detection, like 101. If you have you have a bunch of fucking kids so who are locked up in a police holding cell, being held there for seven hours, being told by police that black ones and Hispanic ones too in the 1990s with in New York permission. City by white detectives permission. telling them that they're going to go home after they confess to that rape, you're going to get some pretty invalid results. I'm terribly sorry. I'm standing with the state of New York City uh, okay. on this one. If what you said was true, that evidence would have pre been presented in the case and what whatever weird claims you're the, making the here about them being tied to a person who was not mentioned in the testimony of the watch. original case would, would would be would have been taken but that was you're not taken because the state the of new york city sorry. because the state of new york city is not interested in your bullshit at like post hoc justifications 
of an obvious overturning that you took upon because you want to defend Daddy Trump. Okay, yeah, if we can move to another point, you're free to. Do you have more excuses yeah, for actually La Raza was responsible for the, the recusal? The territory, sir. I can tell where you grew up. Yeah, I, well, yeah, I didn't grow up in New York City. <laughs> yeah, I forgot. You, I yeah. don't have the, yeah, the brain worms necessary to understand sir. the process of the New York City's yeah. um, uh, 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 legislative process. Just so we don't... Yeah. Uh, just, just so we don't miss out on other you could say subcomponents uh in terms of like points for or against trump being racist we want to maybe move into one of those other subcomponents i would okay love to we... yeah let's hear another one because that one is just not gonna okay fly. well it, it did so with the state of new york yeah your just conspiratorial so we... refutation doesn't really hold in court just let's Watch just jump the tapes. to the Watch next the one we'll so the next so for a next one i mean we can go over we can go over the comments about mexico we can go over his discriminatory housing practices okay, we can go on, over him on, asking a judge to recuse one, himself uh, can you count to one please the next one. Thank you. I'm I'm asking you which one you would like to go to. I'm trying to make this a democratic activity. We can link next, hands together and your, join. Whichever one you feel as though is the strongest out of the next 101. How about his um how about his comments concerning Charlottesville? I think that's a pretty good one. Oh, great. Yeah. I would have said the same thing. I've also would have said the same thing about those five young men who were rioting in the streets and attacking people at random what are you talking about um, i would have said the same thing wait about what five who was rioting no, i would have said the same thing that trump said about charlottesville and i also would have said the same thing that he said about the five young men who weren't rioting and who were convicted of nothing and exonerated rioting, of all charges <laughs> correct or smashed a man in the face with a brick Come which on. which they were apparently <laughs> exonerated of that must have been a really soft brick. Uh, no they weren't exonerated of that they were exonerated of the rape sir well they i mean they got out and you got don't know tens of millions the justice system works i don't know well wait so, do you think that um, um do you think them hitting a person with a brick calls for their collective execution no. If okay. So it's completely believe... irrelevant to the point that Donald Trump was making. And you're just trying to deflect by adding in additional if, facts. If Let's follow, also... How about how about we move to something you're more comfortable with? How about Charlottesville? That sounds like a if, fun one. If they're also guilty of rape and murder, silly. Then yes, at first did they, they murder would somebody be on trial? Wait, did for, they murder somebody? Or, or rape? Excuse me, capital rape. If they were in fact guilty of that, then yes, they would be on trial for their lives. But thank God that uh, they got exonerated from that because of the DNA. So they got exonerated from just that charge, not all of the charges. They were guilty of other crimes. Did they murder somebody? Um, I'm not sure the guy was. Wait, you're not sure? I thought I, you were familiar with this case. His... That seems like it'd be really. That seems like it'd no, be he, really big. He, he might have lost his eye, but I, I don't know if he was murdered. In fact, um, but let's get to Charlottesville. Yeah. All right. That's do you not, like? That's wait. That's not important to you because it's a black kid. So. It's do you like? Wait. Whoa. 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 All right. Listen. I love black people. Are you a fan of Jesse Lee Peterson? Let's get to Charlottesville. I love black so, people. Okay. What is the charge in Charlottesville? Do you like neo-Nazis? People on both sides, and there were in fact four sides. So a lot of times, uh, individuals such as yourself who. Uh, it appears as though get their information from CNN and MSNBC. I have literally never watched uh, CNN or it, MSNBC. It appears but keep going, as though King. that is where you're getting your information. I have never watched those. I, whoa, 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 hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Um, Don't insult me. I'm not a liberal. But, I'm a leftist, okay? I, fuck capitalism. I said you get your information from liberal outlets. So you have no, a hard I, time I really, comprehending. I you really do. You think you have you to go to a liberal down. outlet to learn about the exoneration um, of a case 15 okay, years calm, ago? Calm down. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about Charlottesville now. So how many groups were present at the Charlottesville riot? I don't see how this is relevant to what Donald Trump said. Donald Trump said there were two groups. Is this what your complaint is about Donald Trump being a, a racist? No, my complaint is that Donald Trump, so my complaint is that Donald Trump went multiple press conferences without denouncing the, um, the Actually, Nazis at Charlottesville. And then long, when he finally did make a comment on the character of the actions okay, that took place there, he decried both sides as having bad people and very fine people. <laughs> That would be my okay, issue, yes. So, so how many sides were on each side? Why don't you tell me? I have a feeling okay. you have a very controversial take great, on this issue. Right, because you don't, you, again, you don't seem to have the information as to what was going so on. Go, go for event. it. Go for it. Let me know. There were four different factions, all right? Oh. So one faction or two of the factions were wanted the statues removed. Of course, 
one of those two factions that wanted the statue removed were the neo-nazis have other you ones, watched that prager or, can i video. finish please can i finish explaining to you what happened all get right you some context so you my apologies for interrupting sir so it just seems like you rational, get all your information from youtube channels so, that pretend to be so universities you can, so you can get a rational understanding of, of, or make a rational decision instead of making one off of emotion i love rationality go for it i love rationality uh, so the two sides on the side of the good that wanted the statues to stay were the neo-Nazis. And there was also a group of just probably conservatives or Republicans. Wait, this was the good side? Uh, yeah. Wait, wait, well, wait, wait. Do you, wait, I, wait, wait, honest question. Wait, really quickly, because we can end the debate right here. Uh -huh. Do you yeah, think the... neo-Nazis are good people? Okay, so, sir, you're interrupting me. I'm trying no, no, to this give is, you no, no, context. we can actually, nothing else is relevant. Let's because if you pay, just, if you just admit no, that you're you, racist, then your opinion on this matter is completely irrelevant. You don't get to dictate what's relevant. Sir, sir, I'm asking I'm you a yes or no I'm question. Not, How not, do you feel about neo-Nazis? Do you think Christian, they're very fine people? So, sir. I'm a born again Christian. Answer the question. Okay, so. Sir. On the other side. Sir. The side that wanted the statues removed. Sir. Hold on. Okay. Just to, just to see you, uh what the he's, argument was from jill jill uh, uh, forgive he's me he's coming off he's not giving me a chance to to tell my argument and what and, happened at the event so that he can make a decision as to you know whether or not he's going to believe the progressive media. i'm ready to learn media okay so on the other side the side of evil the ones that wanted to take down the statue <laughs> were the antifa of course who came uh with prepared with bats and and uh, pepper spray, and then the groups that were anti uh, those groups who wanted the statues to stay. So they wanted the statues to come down. These were probably your average uh, Democrat. Would you call them Democrat satanic? Support. Would you say they were satanic in character? No. So when he says good people on both sides, he is referring to those counter counter groups, the ones that the leftist media didn't inform you of. Uh, okay. Gosh. So really quick question. What's your opinion on neo-Nazis? Because we can have that conversation, but I'm not going to argue whether or not you think Donald Trump is racist if you also believe that America should be a white ethno state. Like why? Like the, you're, um, at that point, we can we can argue whether why you're racist and why you're defending his racism. But if you think that they're valid in that perspective, then there's no point in arguing it with you. I'd say you should you should embrace your feelings on that subject. You should embrace the racism. I hear that um, conservative groups will play top top dollar for like blacks who will uh, sell out their own race to defend white nationalism. Okay, so I guess I'm a racist. Shut up, liberal. All right. Well, let's wait. get on to the third. You're wait, no, two. wait, wait, wait. How do you one. feel about neo Nazis? Let's get to the debate, sir. I'm very. This is absolutely essential to the debate. You're this, would, this would be like us having a conversation on whether or not Donald Trump is a rapist, and then it came up midway through the discussion that you believe that you don't believe it's possible to rape a wife. This is very essential to your perspective on the issue. Please tell this me. Is a, this is a red herring. It's um, not a red herring. Wait, hold, you, hold on. Wait, wait. I'm wait really quickly because you, you had a second to talk. I just want to say on. this. Listen, I I'm listen. I love black people. I love white people. I want beautiful unity between people of all discordant groups in this country, okay? And it's really weird to me that in a discussion about values, which racism absolutely is i mean it's absolutely a value judgment whether or not you are or not racist whether or not racism is good or bad and a question about values you can't answer whether or not you have a problem with neo-nazis if you don't then we can talk i'm here I, I love talking with nazis okay but if we can't get over that very simple hurdle why should i believe anything you have to say or anything concerning your characterization of the events because you're then taking the pro-racism side not the donald trump isn't a racist side but the i'm in favor of racism and will lie about it to conceal my aim side honesty is very important in debate i'm very forthcoming with my views okay so you mentioned donald trump um, i mentioned you actually sir neo nazi no i said are you asking if you are a neo-nazi <laughs> i don't think that donald trump is a neo-nazi uh well why are you bringing up neo-nazis what's this because we're talking like about charlottesville from. and i am you, asking you if why you are, are you making a, this about me this is about donald trump no we are debating and our perspectives uh -huh. on a moral issue are informed by our political a moral alignment. issue who get, whose ethics and whose morals are you uh justifying 
Well, this the question important. here is whether Donald Trump is racist or not. And usually that who, conversation takes place. And whose ethics and whose morals are you using to justify the idea that this is important to this discussion? What my own, obviously. I mean, okay. that's well, I, that's okay, all of my decisions stem from my moral right, process. So, what, of what relevance is that question? Right, right, Why can't you yeah. answer? Why are you a coward? Jesus would not appreciate this, by the way. He would tell you, hey, Jill, you're being a god. I don't know how they talked back then. Listen, I don't speak no fucking uh, uh, Hebrew, okay? He would say, hey, listen, in the kingdom of heaven, we tell no lies. You should turn your cheek and then use the mouth to the side of that cheek to tell Vosh whether or not you're a fucking neo-Nazi. This isn't difficult. I'll, I'll answer any personal questions you have to ask me. We can have a conversation about your values and how they relate to Donald Trump if you want. But I will say... Are you accusing me of being a neo-Nazi? I'm asking you, and you're failing to you're, answer in a suspect manner. You're asking me if I'm a neo-Nazi? Yes. Why would you be asking me if I was <laughs> a neo-Nazi? So you went from... You see how the... Are you an atheist? I am an atheist. Your atheism is sure acting up. That's how I could tell. By caring did about neo Nazis? That's true. Jesus would hate people hold who on, are anti Nazi. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I just want to show you the progression of your uh, Trump derangement syndrome. It's starting to affect the brain. Do it. You show just me. Went from, you just went from, is Trump uh, or, or do you support the neo Nazis? Right. Mm -hmm. To are but you, you refuse to answer? Nazi? Yes, because you refuse to answer the first one in a very oh. pathetic and suspect way. Are you an adult, sir? Do you need your binky? Uh, like, do you need milk? I adults usually okay, answer questions let answer directly. You, let me let me answer you by saying this: I'm black. What does that have to do with the? Oh, okay, wait, hold on, hold on, really quickly. So you're a neo-Nazi. Okay, wait. Here's a wait. Here's a quick question. So I'm, I'm going black, to so I'm going to proceed neo, with the I'm remainder of this debate. I'm going to presume with the remainder of this debate, assuming not only that you are a neo-Nazi, which is fine. We can talk about that. I'm very open and honest. Okay, it's part of my progressive atheistic values. I'm, but I'm I don't care. Wait, wait. I don't care if you're black. Why are you playing idpo with me? What are you? Are you been you been watching too much MSNBC? Right. You are uh, you a Warren stan over there? You a All big right, fan so of Hillary Clinton? You a big fan of Hillary Clinton, sir? I didn't think so. Why that id poll? I believe you can be a Nazi if you're black, if you're a woman, if you're a Jew. I believe in the beautiful plurality of Nazi values, okay? Now listen up. I'm going to proceed with the rest of this conversation, assuming that you're a Nazi. I'm also going to proceed with one very important question. Why are okay. you defending whether or not Donald Trump is a racist if you yourself are a racist and think racism is fine? Like, why not just be honest? Just say, it's okay. Donald Trump doesn't like black people very much. So your definition of a neo-Nazi, let's get this straight for the audience. <laughs> I, li I literally have just a, asked on, you. Hold on, you just spoke for 20, I just let you talk. I didn't interrupt you. Go for it. Say something of your, value and I'll give you equal time. Go for it. Your definition of a neo-Nazi, if I'm combining uh, your statements about I haven't given a definition. You've, you've talked about them wanting black people off this, this land. Typically neo-Nazis, so so, yes, do so that. So your definition of a neo-Nazi is someone who wants m myself off the land. He's, he's, so you're I literally going to do this. You're literally going to do the how can I be a Nazi if I'm I black thing. Five seconds you're literally id polling me right now. I thought we were adults. One second. So, I mean, can I talk for, I thought this was a back and forth. Go it ahead. It seems as though Go for it. I'm allowing him to talk and he's not allowing me the same respect. Um, your definition of a neo-Nazi is someone who is affiliated with a group. Okay, I grant you that not all may have this particular uh, belief, but I'm affiliated with a group being quote unquote black myself that wants me removed from the greatest country that God has ever created, that God has ever built. Maybe besides uh, his church, if you want to count that as a country, um, I I highly I think that stretches credulity beyond its breaking. I love how I am constantly accused of being. I appreciate your opinion of me. I, I love how I'm constantly accused of being an idpol liberal MSNBC CNN watcher hand wringing. But when I ask you a very plain and simple question about your values, not only do you backtrack and fail to answer for literally like five minutes straight, you then say, "Oh well, I can't be a neo Nazi because I'm black." This is the tier of argumentation I would expect from people who don't believe there are cameras on them. This this is a bald-faced lie, and it is plain and evident to everyone watching. Historically, there have been black Nazis, Hispanic Nazis, Jewish Nazis. There are people with contradictory beliefs. There are fem there are feminists 
who um who hate trans people there are women who hate feminists there are men who hate men there are people all over the planet who have political views that are contradictory to the interests of their class i'd be willing to bet that i make more money than you and you're probably a fucking capitalist that's not in your class interest you have no reason to support the interests of billionaires and yet you do the world is full of people who could um, probably be better off if they adopted interests that align with their personal demographic identity, but then don't. So no, I reject this uh, characterization that you are incapable of being a neo-Nazi or being affiliated with neo-Nazi because you are black. And I condemn you for your cowardice, for being unwilling to directly answer that question and stand true to your values. I don't like it. Jesus wouldn't like it. I know. Listen, I've spoken to him. He wouldn't like it one bit. All I want is to have a civil conversation with you about your own values and about the values of Donald Trump. But we can't argue whether or not he's racist if you're pro-racism and are just lying because you're too cowardly to admit it. Okay, all right. So again, you, your, your mantras and your rhetoric won't prove anything, all right? Your definition of what is important as far as neo-Nazis, why that's even, according to my worldview, something that I would even care to discuss is just that your well personal subjective opinion who cares do you have let's like a genetic deficiency that prevents you well, from directly answering second. questions well, let's get to number one three second. you're over two just to hear about or uh just to hear jill of course yeah yeah you're over two let's get to the third charge why are we making this about jill when uh you should you're you should have gone on to the third one. Once I told you I was black, that should have been the end of it. I mean, you you it can't highly, move past it, this, it, can me you? Being African American highly militates against the chance that I'm a neo Nazi. So let's move it, on, please. Yeah, I think the audience yeah. is starting to pick up on your 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 filibustering, your rhetoric. You're your right. They're falling through. Attitudes. They're very impressed we're by not, your flagrant unwillingness to answer basic questions about your values. Okay, so let's get to number three, please. I'm going to go right back to the neo-Nazi thing when we're done, because the argument can't continue past that. Why would I argue whether or not someone is racist with a pro-racist person? I'd rather argue who your do, values. Who, who's, and what who it says, says about Donald Trump, that there are neo-Nazis defending him. Define racism. We've already gone over this, sir. Why are you backtracking? Is uh, Obama a racist? Uh, prob. Um, I'd say that in terms of like he, I'd say he did a pretty decent job with the rhetoric of anti-racism. In terms of his willingness to actually use his platform to affect like anti-racist change, he. In your opinion. I would say that Obama is probably less racist than the average person in terms of his personal values, in terms of how he affected the world, I'd say he's pretty standard for a U.S. president. I would say he is more a racist than I know anyone. you do. I know you do. Yeah, so uh, if we're only talking about opinions here, you can't ground your or justify your definition of what a racist is, then... It's just your opinion versus my opinion. So let's that's, get to the That's third, typically racist. how debates work. Yes, you present okay. two conflicting so opinions and you argue them out. Okay, so let's get to the third. Could be constructed as a racially divisive statement. You're 0 for 2. I'm, I am reeling in defeat. But I'm going to go right back to the neo-Nazi thing. Again, it'd be like discussing whether or not rape is bad or whether Donald Trump is a rapist. And then I like look at your blog and you have posts about how like men should be able to roam the streets and fuck whatever women they want. Why would I argue the validity of a of bigotry when you are pro that bigotry? Um, it, it doesn't make sense to me. It's I think I think Jesus would frown most heavily upon that behavior of mine. But I'm interested in why you think your views are so um, so abhorrent that you can't express them openly. I'm open about every position I have on everything. You can ask me any position I have on any subject concerning race, racism, or race relations, and I will answer as 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 heartfelt and honestly as I can because I'm not afraid of anything that I believe or have to say. But it seems to me that you're aware of the fact that your deeply held political position would invalidate a lot of the rhetoric and propagandizing that you're attempting to engage in. Which makes me wonder what the point is in engaging with that propaganda when I could just talk about you. And wonder, and here's the funny part, why is it that someone like you, who is at least close enough ideologically to a neo-Nazi to not be willing to mount a defense or a refutation of the accusation that you are one, defending Donald Trump, and what does that have to say about Donald Trump's racism, that you are so attracted to him? 
Okay. All right. So I'm glad that we, you, you were able to share your feelings, but I'm going to give you some facts, some demographic um, facts uh, of the matter. Uh, not only has Donald Trump been a pro-Black president, uh, as a Black, quote-unquote, Black man, I could say so. Damn. Uh, but we have now, uh, through his laws, like the criminal justice law, which uh, Blacks are benefiting from overwhelmingly, um, so being having that their sentence, sentences are being reduced, uh, prison sentences. Mm -hmm. So the first report has already returned um, Did you hear one time he reform, said he loves black people at a press conference? The reform package cool. pushed by Trump aide Jared Kushner, as you know. Uh, it shows that it's working to cut sentences, especially for black prisoners. And that has been a plague on the black community for decades now. Uh, we suffered under the Democratic Party, which I'm sure you support. Um, and the I said I don't uh, like the Democratic Party earlier, but good job. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so according I'm a socialist, to the socialist, you know that, right? Great, great. And so has the Democratic Party fallen into. Wait, does uh, the Democratic to, Party advocate for the abolition of private property? According to the just released, <laughs> okay, first I didn't report, think so. Go ahead. First Step Act of 2018, the U.S. Sentencing Commission said that uh, 1,051 requests for a reduced sentence were granted in the in just the first four months since it was signed into law by our dear uh, duly elected President Donald J. Trump back in December. Uh, and overall, the average decrease was a 73-month uh, redu reduction in the sentencing. Would you say that's the, a good thing? Yes. You care about the well-being and livelihood of Black people? I do. Really? Interesting. Why would you characterize the neo-Nazis at Charlottesville as being on the good side when they were fighting to preserve the existence of a Confederate statue that was erected after the war as memorial as a counter to protests that were being done to establish your civil rights? Again, uh, there were two sides of that story. I thought there were uh, four the, sides, sir. Right. Yeah. And two on each side. So they were. when he says that they were good people, he just simply means that they were nonviolent. He doesn't mean that he agrees with their ideology. So if you've determined, based on what your understanding of our history, that the Confederate flag is a symbol of hatred, then that all being fine. There are individuals who don't hold that opinion, so just to inform you. Uh, the criminal justice reform was one of Krushner's uh, biggest victories in which he pulled together a bipartisan coalition on Capitol Hill. Uh, so this is huge for Black, and, and it actually the studies have shown, or the numbers have shown, the numbers, that it's affecting Blacks um, positively and uh, disproportionately. 955 Blacks uh, received reduced sentences as opposed to 45. So that's just in the first four months. Uh, so Trump has also signed into law what uh, it's called the Opportunity Zones Act, which was a uh, a uh, executive order actually, where he in includes a 1.5 trillion dollar package to help the uh, low income housing situation that's going on in many of the black neighborhoods. A hood that you've never seen before. Actually, I'm, uh, you know, I grew up in Beverly Hills, uh, but I, you know, I'd like Beverly to think. Beverly Hills, 90120. Well, you know, at least in that area. Yeah. So and you don't understand that when blacks meet to do mob violence, you become best friends very quickly. Whoa, 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 whoa. hold on. Wait. Okay. So aside crime. from the joke that I was about to make, I don't know what perspective you're about to take on this. I'm looking through your YouTube channels right now, and you have videos out on the defense of slavery, the thumbnail of which is a the black man slavery. eating. How do you, did you listen to it that quickly? It is a three hour and 30 minute video. Do you, how, wait, actually, I'm, wait, wait, I'm curious. Maybe you can answer this one directly. Do you how think that you slavery was good? Was defense? See, this is what the liberal media has brainwashed. You don't even realize. I'm, li I'm literally looking at the titles of your own videos. The liberal media has nothing to do with this. And by hold the on, way, I don't, I don't, 
Everything that you just said is a deflection from the overwhelming scrutiny levied against you. You won't answer a very simple question. Are you or are you not a neo-Nazi? Can you, can you guys see how this guy is making this about Jill? How I can answer I simple I questions, black. who I don't run away from questions he concerning black. my values on things, how I'm open about my perspective. <laughs> So again, I mean, none, nothing that you just said mattered because this is exactly how you people like to feign your values. You come in here with a bunch of pre-prepared propagandizing statistics that paint over a broader picture of Trump's racism for decades, which is well substantiated. Okay. Whoa, 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 sir, sir, very rude of you. Um, which is well substantiated and agreed upon by pretty much anyone who actually gives a shit about racism. You come in here with a few blith statistics about economic variables and some bullshit hackneyed propaganda concerning Charlottesville and the Jackson, or not Jackson 5, holy shit, the Central Park 5. And, um, and, and you won't even answer basic questions like, is Nazism bad? Or are you a neo-Nazi? This is precise. See, anyone who actually cares about black people has a pretty firm stance on Nazism. I think this is a pretty easy one. And the reason why I'm hammering so in on this, the reason why this is important to me, isn't because I'm trying to do a cheap gotcha. Again, I can discuss anything. If you want to talk about white ethno states or race and IQ, or you want to talk about like how this is a white nation built by white men that should be defended with white interests, if you want to talk about that, I'm here for that. I love love those conversations, okay? But the conversation I can't have is with a grifter, with someone who pretends to care about racism, lies about it, and then refuses to divulge his actual opinions on the subject. That's what I can't do. It would make as much sense for me to discuss the um, the, the the morality of eat, eating meat with a lion, or the 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 validity of um, the validity of like. Um, the um uh, like what food tastes better like do i prefer um filet mignon or like a beef wellington and i'm having this conversation with a vegan it's just it doesn't make sense to have these conversations with somebody of your ideological perspective so why don't we just talk about what matters here you are neo-nazi aligned at least you care enough that you're unwilling to divulge your you know d uh, uh, distance from them why do you like donald trump because it's clear to me that you don't care much about black people if you did you sure as hell wouldn't be defending the charlottesville neo Nazis, who came there, by the way, in the Unite the Right rally with the specific intention of uniting the more radical wing of the Republican Party with the alt-right neo-Nazi identitarian, whatever you want to call them, that existed on the internet. It was advertised explicitly from the beginning as a neo-Nazi rally. They came there with weapons drawn. Our side was the one who lost somebody, and the police were the ones who, um, had to break up violence that was largely instigated by the Nazi side. And even if they weren't neo-Nazis, which there are, because there is extensive video evidence of them marching around saying that Jews will not replace us, blood and soil and the like, talking about how the Jewish class needs to be gassed, even if they weren't neo-Nazis, they came there to defend a statue that was being torn down. That statue was in legacy to a war hero who fought and lived and died to strip you of your rights, to deprive you of the right to vote, to live freely, to have your children grow up in a comfortable household, to eat what you want and fuck who you want to fuck, and they fought there to defend that man and his likeness. I don't think you care very much about black okay. people. Okay, all right, so, all right, great, great. Congratulations. We appreciate the platitude um, speech, uh, but we're more interested in the facts. Okay? I so love, wait, I love, whoa, whoa, there were questions in there, buddy. For 10 minutes, come on. I love black people. Do you love black people? You don't love anyone, sir. I love black. Whoa! That was an ad hum, sir. Do you have evidence for that claim that I love nobody? I didn't think so. Do you love black people? Let's do what we'll do is we'll give Jill a chance to respond if to kind of make a case or a response, and then we will go to Q and A. Yes, please. People have questions. My goodness, this guy goes on for ten minutes filibustering. All right, so I have the best words. I'll, I'll do like I do my uh, my high school students. I'll wait. Okay. So wait, you're a teacher? Ah, <laughs> uh, oh god. Wait. Okay. okay. I'm sorry. Just, sorry. Okay, that just hurt a little James, bit. I apologize. On. That was violence we'll against me. We will give Jill uh, Jill a chance. I don't know what Jill. Did you insult Vash? Yeah, when he said he was a teacher, that was a direct insult to me. The fact that there are actually people who learn from this gift. Yeah, he. All right, he. He's not he, okay. He Good. he makes a false dichotomy between faith and reason. So teach Christians can't teach. We can't do anything. We well, I didn't say because uh, you're Christian, run a marathon, buddy. We can't bake a cake. Whoa! Right, so, um, talk about um, the victim me, mentality. Okay, Nobody said shit we, about you being a Christian. All right, can let's, we get let's, to we'll my give response Jill, to we'll give your Jill ten minute tirade? We'll give okay. Jill a chance to respond, and then we'll go to the Q and A pretty quick. 
Okay. So I, I just want to give you a, a testimony of another African American, quote unquote, um, who believes Trump is not in fact a racist, who doesn't believe that the person he is supporting wants to destroy him, <laughs> which is, again, of an absurdity, but um, he wants to continue. Now that he found out that I was, in fact, African-American, he wants to continue. So um, he, what he's saying, uh, all of this rhetoric makes any, any sense. Um, but his name is Bishop Dante Hickman. And um, he wrote uh, in... I think it was the Washington Examiner um, about the efforts of Donald Trump and his executive order to revitalize neighborhoods just like his in Baltimore, which is an S-hole city. And um, he was thankful that Donald Trump is doing what the Obama administration failed to do in eight years. He says that our area had been federally des designated as an opportunity zone and this bipartisan legislation can leverage public and private funding towards community revitalization. Your influence, he writes, on federal agencies, he's writing this to Trump, and private entities through this executive order will enable distressed communities like Broadway East, communities that you've never seen growing up watching 90210, Beverly Hills. I'll have you know I was very busy uh, the, jerking off when I was a kid and not watching television. Thank you. They just had the reunion, didn't they? Isn't um I wouldn't I wouldn't know. I was probably jerking off while they did that too, sir. Yeah, isn't uh what's his name? Luke Perry back? Oh, Luke. All right. So like East Broadway, East Broadway East in Baltimore. Um, so they obtained the capital that they needed uh to fund to bridge the funding gaps, to create sustainable health, wealth, housing, educational, recreational, grocery, and employment opportunities. It will strengthen small, emerging, and other businesses, as well as enable financial support of HBCs, or historically black colleges, and universities like Wiley College in Marshall, Texas, where what I- What does this have to do with Donald Trump? Um, so, um, apparently not everyone shares those people that he wants to destroy, apparently, uh, including those who were involved in the Blexix movement, like ex-police officer Brandon Tatum and uh, the more popular uh, Candace Owens, um, Diamond and Silk, mm -hmm, for example. Um, yeah, you're so listing the all the conservative movement, blacks, yes. What is the yeah, point so, of this? So Donald Trump is going to win, it's estimated, more than 15% of the black vote, which is unprecedented, at least in the past 60 to 70 years. No, uh, I'm pretty sure there have voted. been Republican presidents that have gotten more than 15% of the black vote. Even if that wasn't the case, that has nothing to do with the central tenant. Why are you avoiding the actual issues here? We never even finished the Charlottesville well, I'm showing discussion. That, I'm showing that Trump is not a racist since you, you're 0 for 2 and you refuse to come Actually, back. Actually, we never finished box. the Charlottesville discussion. I asked you pointed questions, not only your opinion of the matter, but how you could defend um, and say good people are ones who are trying to defend the erection and maintenance of a Define statue good. dedicated to a person who fought to keep you in bondage. And I was Define curious good. what your opinion was on that, but you didn't answer it because it wouldn't be convenient for your position. Did, There's did no Tom point in trying to argue with Jefferson, the actual positions that you're Jefferson coming Jefferson out with. Whoa, 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 sir, sir, sir. Whoa, hold on, sir. Should Thomas sir, whoa, whoa, sir, oh, sir, sir. What about Andrew Jackson? What about Andrew Jackson? Huh? What are you talking about and how is it in any way, shape, or form relevant to this conversation? Should Andrew Jackson statue, why were there no protests for Andrew Jackson statue to come down who owned 400 slaves? Do you actually, wait, 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 do you actually want to know the difference? Yeah. First of yeah, all, let's, let's, as he a, was a wait, Democrat. That's well, a first of all, I so, should note that this is still a deflection because Trump, you have please. completely jumped away from the Charlottesville question, which is pretty pointed and relevant to the discussion we're having at large, because <laughs> you're too cowardly to answer questions about your own perspective, because you are pro-racism, and you are arguing to pro cover racism. four racists. Against yeah, you, who, it's not, hey, listen, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, you do, why the id poll? You're like, you're like Hillary Clinton, dude. Do you like that? Do you like you're, being you're a Rodham supporter? You you're with your only, identity politics, ooh, I'm black, I can't do this, I can't do that. What's up yeah. with you, my dude? I'm an yeah. American, and so are you. And I believe we can be anything we put our minds to. But you over yeah. there with your pathetic victim You're mentality, the... ooh, I can't be a Nazi because I'm black. Get over yourself, you fucking child. 
You're, I could be a Nazi. You could be a Nazi. We could all be it. Nazis if we wanted okay. to. Now, no, 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 no. If I may, if I may, hold on, because there was a point. There was a point buried in there concerning the Andrew Jackson. I'm not. Hold on. I'm not cutting you off. So let's get the Q and A. Wait, wait. I'm not cutting you off from being able to get to your point, Bosh. I just want to make sure that after this point, are you guys okay if we go to Q and A? Oh yeah, 100. percent Okay, That's thanks fine. so much. Yeah. Okay, so so we've completely ignored like all the broader questions here and Jill is too cowardly to answer any questions about his own positions which are relevant to the ability to discuss this. Um but the actual answer that you're looking for here concerning Andrew Jackson is one I am a leftist and I do protest statues of his existence. Now, I'm not going out to every one of these protests. I'm pretty much a home buddy, but I would be in favor of those that statues. That wasn't the being question. I down. said, why wasn't it protested by the mainstream media? There, well, for the one, the mainstream media doesn't do protest. Whoa, 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 hold on. Statues. The mainstream, on, you're Jill. being. Jill, you're biased. Jill, you will, Jill, 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 sir. Jill, that's sir. What I'm revealing. Jill, I just gotta, we gotta let uh, Vosh make this point and then we'll go to okay. the Q&A. So for one, the mainstream media doesn't do protests. They cover protests. Protests are typically done by activacy um, groups. For two, the protests that activacy groups are typically determined by um, a wide variety of factors concerning the history of the particular statue and what it has to do with that city. For three, that protest was originally scheduled by the Nazis not by the defenders. It was scheduled by them to protest the city's decision to remove that statue. They were the ones there protesting its removal. The protest was initiated by them, not by others. Others came in response to a gathering of no, oh, hold on, sir. Very rude. Others gathered in response Yo. to them gathering. So every point you just made and insinuated there is factually wrong. But we can continue. The reason why the city chose that city ta um, that statue taken down for removal is because, and you probably don't know this or would pretend not to know this because you don't care about black people, many civil rights, um, uh, um, back during the era of the civil rights marches in the 1960s, um, the southern states erected a whole bunch of statues, many of them very poorly made, in honor honor of Civil War quote-unquote heroes from the Confederacy. The point of doing this was not to honor the legacy of these people who had died decades ago. There was no particular reason to erect these statues for artistic or historical purposes. The reason they did it was to intimidate the civil rights protesters that were going on in their area, because it's a hell of a lot harder to march down the street advocating for your rights and to remove your bondage when you're doing so under a 20-foot statue made in marble of a man who gave his life fighting to make sure you would live and die in bondage. That is why they were erected. This is well-known fact. The people who have erected it have been clear in the purposes why they erected it. These statues are literally a testimony to anti-civil rights sentiment. That is why the city chose to take it down, because neo-Nazis are for either slavery or the enslavement or the deportation or the genocide of blacks. They came to protest the removal of that statue. Afterwards, other okay. people came as a counter-protest. Right. So everything you insinuated was wrong and contrary to your point. Okay, great. Not Andrew Jackson, only 400 slaves. All right, let's get on. I, to I literally that. answered every point you had. If they decided <clears throat> yeah, to remove Andrew you Jackson's can't deal statue. With that hypocrisy. So I you literally know. answer you. Okay, wait, hold on. I'm starting to believe. <laughs> Are you a believer in uh, intrinsic race and IQ Andrew differences? Andrew Jackson and all the Democratic, like Robert Byrd, they stay, who was a grand wizard in the Klan. He stays. He's I, ju fine. I just answered everything you're complaining Democrat. about right so now. Your pathetic attempt at whataboutism is recognized and ineffectual. All right, so let's get to QA. We, we don't I'm really ready. care about your politics. Um, we will jump into the Q&A. So thanks for your patience, everybody. Is, uh, is trying to track down all the questions. That the chat <laughs> chat is flying. So I totally appreciate all of your questions, everybody. And thank you to the speakers. We really appreciate you guys for being here. And give me one second. So sorry. I'm just catching up here. And we will, I forgot to mention at the start, uh, Super Chats allows you to make a comment toward one of the speakers, and it also goes to the top of the list during the Q&A. And so we do have a few Super Chats we will start up with. And let's see. Thanks for your patience. Uh, Mitchell and- I've muted the stream. Got All of you questions. donate to me. So much. Donate the now. first one, Super donate Chat, to me too. Avatar of Hatred. Thanks for your Super Chat. They said, reminder, Jesus is King is out, and he is your King. So it must be the, I, I don't know what's cool nowadays, but the Kanye album, I've at least heard about it. So, mm. okay. Well, thanks, uh, Avatar of Hatred. Glad to have you here. Crackerjack12 uh, says, Vosh is desperately trying to troll Rattle Jill, and Jill is clearly more calm. Vosh is trolling is desperate and weak. Okay, so we, we will give the speakers a chance to respond to these. Some of these are a little bit 
as you might expect, a little bit heated. Oh, uh, I can I can respond to that. I don't think that civility is a good indicator of the reasonability of one's positions. If somebody comes here lying, unwilling to answer questions, completely contrary info, conspiratorial arguments, uh, and doesn't listen to anything that I say, I don't think that there's any obligation on my part to treat that person in good faith, because they clearly didn't. Gotcha. Appreciate it. And next up, Michael Dresden, thanks for your uh, super chat. Like I said, these are a little bit uncomfortable to read. Uh, says Vosh is desperately <laughs> trying to get Jill mad and failing. Did we? Um, and and didn't know Jill is black. Vosh so desperate he bragged he makes more money. So fake and try hard. Wait, I knew he was black. Oh, okay, I, I knew that much. I, I, no, you didn't. Wait, yes, I did. With all with all due respect, I mean, yeah. you sound black. Your voice sounds black. I figured yeah. you were black. That's racist. It's not. <laughs> Wait, can you, you can probably guess I'm white by my voice, right? Yeah. Okay, no. then there no, we go. I, I can guess that you were white by the picture. Okay, my voice has nothing to do, you really don't think there's any characteristic to my, to my, my dialect or how I speak that might indicate my background or upbringing? Okay, so you're just trying to excuse your racism. That's, okay. but, but to, uh answer or to respond to what was said uh, yeah I, I think the the problem here is that we really don't have any evidence that Donald Trump is a racist <laughs> we, have, we have a lot of what Vosh just provided you with and I apologize to the audience that you had to endure that uh, 45 minutes of just uh, talking head on CNN uh, <laughs> you know perhaps uh, on one of those shows i don't even watch cnn you admitted uh, my voice NBC. makes me sound white don't you fucking posture like this uh, uh no no i would never say such a racist thing damn so Jill, but uh, but yeah. not Vosh. saying you distance yourself from neo-nazis that's totally kosher sorry J jim continue please sorry no problem uh if you want to respond to that super chat though you can you don't have to Vosh, you can keep moving to the next one. Oh, uh to to the super chat that was just read it was actually, yeah, it was, I think it was one that I would, if anybody was going to make a response to, I think it would be Vosh and Jill jumped in. Uh, but so if you want to respond, you can, but you don't have what to. What was this super chat? It was the That's... one where I'm a baby and I tried to make you mad, but I didn't know you were black or something. Again, this yeah, is something, yeah. this is really quickly, this is one point that I want to hammer in. A lot of people pretend they don't believe this. You can be any ideology, regardless of your skin color. History has shown there have been tons of Jewish, black, Hispanic, female, whatever, Nazis. Like, to deny, to be like, I'm not a Nazi, I'm black. Like, this is, this is ridiculous and it makes you look ridiculous. History is littered with people who take ideologically, uh, ideological positions contrary to their skin color or their gender or whatever. It happens all the time. And conservatives know this because they'll make fun of male feminists, saying that male feminists are beta cucks who are like trying to hurt men because they're afraid of their gender. Or they'll accuse people like me of having white guilt because we're, our, we're like defending black people but we were ignoring white people or something like that so conservatives will recognize at least in their mentality that it's possible to hold an ideological position contrary to the interests associated with your demographic status but then they'll turn around and be like huh, neo-nazi well i'm black so that's all you should need to know without answering the question for 30 minutes that's all well, according to the, the washington times close to 20 percent of uh, blacks are expected to vote for donald trump what does that so have 20. to do with what so, i just I think said this, and i think there's going to be much more um come election day more than the 20 percent of blacks which is again unprecedented so what mr vosh what is does that have to, to you, do with i'm, what I'm I just about said. to tell you i'm about to tell you okay i'm ready thank you i'll wait um, no i'm ready i'm All already right, ready so, um, we'll go to 20 percent 20%. So what he's <laughs> suggesting to you is that those 20%, maybe more, are everything he just said. Okay. I, I would wait, say- Wait, 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 no, wait. Whoa, whoa. No, I did not. Not I all Republican voters are neo-Nazis. I don't know why you would lie like that. That's an extremely transparent deflection. I did not just say 20% of Black people are neo-Nazis. I asked you if you were, and you couldn't answer. I think if most Republicans were asked if they were neo-Nazis, they would say no. Stop selling the average Republican out. I have Republican friends. I've asked them if they're neo nazis No, I haven't. But the ones that I have, they say no, because most Republicans aren't neo-Nazis. I don't know why you're so short on the principles of your comrades. Are you a leftist? Damn right. 
Okay, you're evil. Damn. The leftists are I'm evil. satanic, actually. I'm atheistic. I am a satanistic leftists atheist. Leftists are evil people. They right. committed more crimes. That's actually um, factually incorrect. If you actually KKK, want to look... Antifa has committed more mob violence within the past 10 years. Zero deaths. Why, why are you deflecting? This has nothing to do with what we were just uh, talking about. Did so, you just come here with a talking points instead standard, of a brain? Here's my point. According to my standard, leftists are the racists. Okay. So I sh maybe I shouldn't have a conversation with you. That's t if you don't want to, that's totally fine. But if you're unironically going to make the argument that being a neo-Nazi doesn't associate with racism, so you then you're failed. probably delusional. You were over two, and you were afraid. This to is what are you a postmodernist, sir? Do you, you believe that it. words have no meaning and you can just say or believe anything because all truth is ephemeral and indeterminable? That's a weird position for a Christian to take. Well, we could debate that another time. But this are you a postmodernist? Post Wait, is are you Donald actually? Trump a racist? Because in real life, he's laugh he doesn't care about any of the positions he's holding here. Let's I know see. this is I know this is Mimi because debating with like forty IQ dudes is fun sometimes, and I do enjoy it. But I actually do like care about the positions that I hold, generally speaking. And I do think, like generally speaking, black people are like really fucked here in the United States. There are a lot of really long-standing socioeconomic questions uh, that like haven't really been addressed. And people like Donald Trump, and people, frankly, like Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton, establishment politicians, just don't really work to fix it that well. I want to fix that. I want to talk to people who want to fix that can't really do that with people who are like um neo-nazis mm -hmm. <laughs> well the i'm black are angry that they're black trump supporters they are black trump supporters that i'm exist. i'm angry at everyone and who supports didn't trump know that we existed i did actually I i've literally wait, wait, wait sir i, I have i have literally you. gone to los angeles and talked with <laughs> jesse lee peterson face to face in bond studios please okay. do not tell me that i am unaware of the fact that there are black trump supporters that is hysterical okay. to me I have literally gone free. there. I have shook his we're, hand. We're I have licked the sweat the off Marxist, his face. We're free from your. All right, we should probably system. continue with super chats. Every sentence, every sentence, system every sentence he says now. is completely detached now. from the last you one. You can't keep us on the Democratic plantation no more. Oh, the, Cand the Candace Owens fans as well. <laughs> Buddy, you can vote for anything you want. You, uh, listen, you hey, people like now. me, people like me fought so you could vote for people I disagree with. But I still disagree with your positions. It's just weird you're hiding like behind Idpol like a bitch saying no one can criticize your ideological positions because you're black when you're ostensibly a member of the right. I thought you guys were supposed to hate Idpol, but I'm the one who came here to discuss ideas and you're the one who came here to hide behind your ideas using racism a shield we should probably go to the next super chat everything this guy says has nothing to do with anything i say next up uh let's see so sorry it's been crazy guys i should have had a co-mod on today but I'm frankly happy. i um it's just that i'm like trying to keep up with these questions that are coming in uh we've got like one or two more for vosh uh, and then we have some coming at uh jill um and uh so i hope you guys Oh, thanks for your patience. Happy Heathen, thanks for your super chat. They said expected a Vosh victory, but he lost. Vosh constantly interrupted today because even because even he knew he was losing. If you want to respond, you can. I, I, again, like I, this is this is a completely every sentence that he has said is divorced from any sentence that I have said. He didn't come here to have a discussion, which is again fine. But again, I'm not going to act in good faith under those circumstances. I'm just here to have fun. Gotcha. Okay. Yo, Vaporwave. Well, uh, let me. Can I just respond? Just five seconds. Uh, if I were to, really, even if really I were quick. to admit to being a neo-Nazi, he still had no epistemic warrant for saying that I'm any more evil than what I believe you are to be a, less, a, a leftist. If you could have framed this discussion so, as you, a neo-Nazi, arguing um, whether or not Trump is racist, I really would have appreciated the honesty. I would have appreciated you if you told me you were a leftist. So I did. I wait, wait. I'm extremely. Evil, oh, wait, wait, wait. Does your channel openly say you're a neo-Nazi? Because the description of my channel says that I'm an anarchist. Okay, that doesn't that's doesn't mean you're a leftist. No, it <laughs> oh, yeah, for one, yes it. Yep, yeah, for one, yes it does. Not Anarchism all leftists is a, are anarchists. Okay, no, wait, yes, but all question. anarchists are leftists. For one, I'm. I said at the beginning of this discussion that I am a leftist and a socialist. I was extremely open with it. But if you're admitting, like, can we acknowledge the absurdity of a question? Is Donald so Trump a racist? So Where the no? Evil. Wait, wait, hold on, really quickly. Where the no is being fielded by someone who is a neo-Nazi, but is too scared to like that's really strange, what's the, right? What's the, what is a neo-Nazi? I. Why don't you tell me what you believe, and we can work from there? Because I asked you, I asked you whether or not you were, and I you can bitched care out. That's about your philosophy, sir. You were supposed to be proving Trump was a racist. You failed. The position of the people engaging in debate is relevant to the extent to which they are capable of making their positions. Do you disagree right, with that? We'll, we'll get you a safe space. Do you disagree with that? that? 
You're the one we'll who needs you. a safe space, my dude. You're too we'll scared you. to admit your fucking ideological holdings in a debate with me. I'm not. Uh, you're apparently some kind of teacher. I thought you would be more used to disagreement than this. Do you troll your my, way through class too? My ideology is found in scripture. So if you want to know my stance on the neo what what in party, scripture has to do with neo Nazism? Consult what thus saith the Lord. The we set. Already go to the next question. First, yeah. you gotta learn how to read the Bible. Visit my channel, um, Atheist Reeducation Camp Part uh, Nine is coming out for the biblically we're, illiterate. Okay, we're gonna go like, to the uh, yeah. Next feel week. free. Thanks. Uh, let's see. I think we've got okay. Vaporwave J Joe. Thanks for your super chat. Now they're coming at you, Jill. So they said Jill admitted in a debate on Cirrus's channel that he was a quote troll for Jesus. So that gives you an idea of the genuine person he is pathetic how do you like them apples jill he's coming at you well actually uh another biblically illiterate atheist please visit my channel so i can teach you how to read the bible (laughs) so he doesn't answer (laughs) if you you knew how to read the bible you would know that the ultimate troll was actually jesus christ himself (laughs) He would, according to the left definition of a troll, the left has taken over the Democratic Party. Uh, what does that have to do with the definition of a troll? Uh, haters of women and children like Mr. Vosh have taken <laughs> over the Democratic Party. All right. So, <laughs> uh, so this is actually uh, yeah. crazy. Um, Jesse Lee Peterson was actually more honest and in good faith than you. Jesse Lee Peterson is known like all around the internet as like the joke guy. Like you watch and it's crazy how like dumb he is. But I actually was able to have a He's conversation dumb. with him. This is actually wild. Why I never thought the bar could be set lower. But I am day. This is the power of Jesus. Every single day, I am being shown the light, and the light looks a lot worse than I thought it would. But damned if I didn't see it before. Yeah, I wish you could have proved Trump uh, was a racist. So we could, literally didn't so even get through the vote. Charlottesville question. So I can change my vote, you know, because I was going to vote for the greatest president that I've ever. Uh, Next up, in my forgive me. I hate to cut you off. Just to get through as many uh, as we can here. So we have Aurora. Thanks for your super chat. Aurora says, Jill, will you condemn Nazis? And are you a Nazi? The Bible already condemns Nazis, but... Um, do you condemn Vosh Nazis? No, Vosh does not know what the Bible teaches. Do you condemn Nazis? Wait, um, if the Bible condemns Nazis, then shouldn't you condemn Nazis? The Bible condemns any ideology other than that. Which do you condemn Nazis? Scripture. This is a yes or no question. If they do not believe that I am he, they will die in their sins. Just like there are plenty of Christian Nazis. Do you disagree with Christian Nazis who no want to establish a white ethno state no and kill you for your bloodline? Nazi. No such thing. There, I don't know how much you know about history, but the neo Nazis deeply rooted their beliefs in um in 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 Christianity. Okay, great. So no do you wait? Wait, wait, wait. I thought. Wait, the Bible condemns neo Nazis. We almost have an answer. Do you condemn neo Nazis? I can't. I can't believe this. This is wild to me. Who in your professional or personal life would have a problem with you if you condemn neo Nazis? Do you like? Do you so, like fuck around in those spheres? Would the, Would you like not be able to get your dick wet if uh, like one of your partners realized you were against like the swastika tattoo on her back? What's the? I just want to know what the dynamic is because I'm open about all my positions. I don't know what it takes to make a man so dishonest. He's so open. He's so. He's such a. Great I'm open man. like Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, I speak uh, yeah, he, my sermon to the masses. Himself. I give them yeah. bread and fish. Uh, next Let us up. worship him. We will next go. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, this is one of the more interesting debates I've been a part of. You guys are just two big personalities. Um, I'm a very godly man, okay? I'm just disgusted by this man's open and aberrant lack of worship for Jesus Christ, who would have condemned neo Nazis for um, virulently disagreeing with everything Jesus Christ stood for. Just to try to get through as many questions as possible. Uh, Posadist John, thanks for your uh, super chat. They said, Jill, are you a neo-Nazi? How many uh, Japanese monkeys can dance on the pen of a needle? <laughs> the head uh, of a pen or a needle. Mm, um, just That's for the like, chat. That's for the, the person in the chat to answer. I'm, hey, and listen, if you ever find out the answer to that, let me know, too, because I also want to uh, I also want to know how many Japanese monkeys can dance in the head of a, of a needle. Yeah, We've got uh, this. The chat is somewhat out of control today. Um, mods, please only delete hate speech. 
So if it's like the N word, delete it. But if it's like, man, so and so is so wrong, it's pathetic. Don't, please don't delete that. Uh, also, someone just put something in the chat that it's like, um, I hope that's an inside joke between you and the speaker because that's like, that's something otherwise I got to erase because it's, I've never seen that before. So, hmm. EYTPS, thanks for your super chat. Uh, they said, 2017 Pennywise or the 1990s version? What do you guys think? Oh, damn, this is the most interesting question so far. Um, uh, okay, listen, I only watched the original when I was really young, and I haven't seen the new one, but I've watched so many analysis videos on it that I feel like I basically have. I think I might have to like the old one better. Gotcha. It, it? Any... is that Stephen, you mean Stephen King's It? Yep, yeah. Oh, no, that, yeah, the old one. Gotcha. The ABC special. Did you guys know that in the, this is totally wrong. Did you guys know that in the book, there was like a child orgy? In Stephen King's original book, there was a part where they were all like scared and all the kids like, like. Man, you, you need Jesus. That, it, I mean, it was in a Stephen King book, one of the most widely recognized and adapted of all time. I don't know, maybe Stephen King needs Jesus. It's just a really weird yeah, tidbit. Yeah, he does. He's a crazy person. Mate, right, writes good books though. Oh, something's I mean. wrong with his mind, I think. That's, that's the twisted, that's the yeah. twisted psycho logic that let him produce those masterpieces. Exactly, yeah. He was an atheist, too. Yeah. I mean, you know, yeah. soon we all will be. You know that um, that the uh, the rate of religiosity <laughs> in society is decreasing every decade? Oh, great. Exactly how the Bible says, but you haven't read. I... Next up, we, <laughs> um, EYTPS. Oh, we got that one. Thanks for that super chat. Uh, Lucien Raphael, thanks for your super chat. They said, please ask Jill why he hides behind leftist I don't know what this acronym is. I D P O L. Oh, id poll, like I, I, identity politics. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Thank you. I don't. I think I'm exposing identity politi politics coming from the left, which is taking over the Democratic Party. Um, I can't be a neo-Nazi because I'm black. You just want to put place, us all back in the plantation. And then you know, place blacks in a welfare state to whereby they're dependent on them, uh, which they want to do to us all. Uh, so first they came from the blacks, and then they're coming for you, white liberal. Uh, according wait, to what the are they, wait, what do they want press, from me? According to the AP, HBCU presidents are hoping Congress will dramatically increase funding in the upcoming budget. They're calling, calling for $25 million for infrastructure. Uh, Obama's administration only gave HBCs, historically black colleges, Four billion. Yeah, I don't like Obama. And that was over seven years. Wait, I have a question. Wait, I have really quick Some question. Racist. Do you think it's? Well, I don't. Again, I don't defend the Democratic Party. I'm not a Democrat. I'm a Some socialist. racist. You're supposed to be defending your racist claim. Be charging someone with racism what are you is a very about? serious thing. What do you? You should be ashamed about? of yourself. Okay. Wait. Um. Do you think He's it's talking racist? about Jesus? Jesus calls that. I'm very confused by what witness. you're saying right now, but I'm going to push on anyway and ask you a Stop very important question. quoting our Bible, cherry picking from. Do you when think you um do you think it's racist for white people to say the, the n-word? Take Wait, the is he log here? out of your eye before you judge others. Am I muted? Bearing false You're not witness. Muted. Oh, he's just having a normal one, I guess. Bearing false witness is against our God, Jesus, who you say you were a follower of earlier. Me? Like yes, I am a deep a follower okay. of Jesus Christ. Okay. Well, you're bearing false witness because you haven't proven Trump. Really Christ. quickly, do you um do you believe it's racist for white people to say the n-word? No. Okay. All right. Fair. Um, and one other thing. Do you believe that more than it is racist for a black person to say it? Oh, all right. Duly noted. Do you believe that the Democratic Party is complicit in a conspiracy to keep black people down? No, I think that most of them think that they're helping black people okay. uh, by pandering to uh, their behaviors and encouraging it. Uh, crime has now become the new black entitlement. I do not believe that. You know what I do believe, though? That's I think what the numbers show. The numbers actually show we're at the lowest the crime rate in decades, but okay. Um, you, you listen to Colin Flattery? I, the numbers. The That's numbers. The I listen to Jesse. Sir, I'm a tremendous <laughs> fan of Jesse Lee Peterson. That is where I get all I my Jesse. dialect from. Jesse I love a... asking people if they love black people. I think that capitalism is what's keeping um, uh, black people down. Oh, yeah. Blame the corporations. Blame capitalism. I yeah. Know. Next up. Next yeah, up. Yeah, Hundo. Forgive me, guys. Yeah. So yeah. sorry. No, it's, no, uh, sorry. No, I know, I know. We're completely off topic. Yeah, go for I it. Love, I love getting to listen to you guys. It's just that we got, we're going to try to squeeze through as many as we can. We got, the, the corporations. Oh, wait a second. Okay. Madra, Madra J. Disco. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for your super chat. They said, Antifa super soldiers only vets are the only vets that count. 
True. <laughs> True. Gotcha. Posada's is John. Thanks for your super chat. They said, Jill, do you support personal ownership of nukes? Personal ownership of nukes. Why on earth would you want that in your home? Don't like the as second a, as amendment? A, as, a, as a man, as the keeper of the home, I would not uh, keep any nuclear arms in my house. That would be foolish. So... I'd like to answer that one too. I want to say, if you want to take that risk for you and your family, then, you know, go ahead. I'm a firm supporter (laughs) of the American second amendment. I'm a proud American. I'm proud of my freedoms. And I believe that every human should be able to own a personal nuke. Okay, great. What's, um, what it's, is allowed is not always expendable. It'd be pretty expensive. There's no denying that. (laughs) Yeah. That's what Paul teaches. So, so wisdom teaches me otherwise, but, but okay. Next up. But I get the point. I am I am for the Second Amendment, which the Democratic Party has been taken over by the, the likes of Bosch. Whoa, 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 wait, wait. I'm very wait, I'm actually to take away from you. Wait, I'm very pro gun. And I disagree seven, with like, Beto like O'Rourke. Alex Jones I disagree. said seventeen seventy six will commence again if you try to take our guns. I wait, this. I'm pro gun. I'm like incredibly pro gun. I'm probably more pro gun than you are, I promise you. Yeah, except for Christians. We're not allowed to be teachers. Or no, no, you, no, 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 no. You're allowed to be a teacher. Right, even if it hurts me personally, you're allowed to own a gun. I'm not taking away any of your rights. I don't know can where this victim teacher? mentality is coming from. Can I be a teacher? Because you were you, shocked. You can if you want You can if you want oh, to. Okay. I, you can I if you want to. Christians it hurts me a, personally by, that you can. By but, your reaction to a Christian become being a teacher, I didn't think you were. Well, Christian. I would also cringe if somebody shot themselves in the foot, but I believe you have a legal right to do so. So I'm not, yeah, <laughs> I'm not trying so, to take so your rights away. Who are Christians are shooting themselves in the foot. Okay, all right. Okay, next question. <laughs> Thanks so much. Appreciate it. David, uh, you guys, it's a wild one today. Uh, David Lamb, thanks for your super chat. They said, Jill, do you support neo-Nazis and don't mention race? What, what define neo-Nazi. Beta! That's what JLP likes to call people who can't answer a question. Beta! <laughs> I, I don't know how they define it. I don't even it. know. I don't know who the neo-Nazis are. According to the left, if you're white and you're a Trump supporter, you're a neo-Nazi. So until the left can come up with a definition of these terms that they throw around to ruin people's careers like Brett Kavanaugh, um, we're going to ignore them. They don't exist. Gotcha. Thank it's you. It's a for fairy that. tale that you made up. Like oh, your it's... dinosaur Beta. or like your eight man fantasy. Beta male. Eight man walk. I bet you're too close to your mother. That's the problem. Next up, um, it's like uh, David uh, uh, Lamb says, Vosh would move on if Jill answered the question. Marcus, thanks for your super chat as well. They said, question for both, is Trump the great white hope? Hey, yes. I'm going yes. to say yes, because Trump is so plainly laying bare the hypocrisies of this country that it might lead down the line to a revolution. And white people want socialism too, okay? Trump is it. He's the great white hope. He's the he's the corn nugget in the giant shit we've been trying to push out for, for 240-something years, okay? Well, when um, when Mr. Vosh says this country, he's really talking about his Democratic Party. No, I want you to be Dixie in Kratz. a socialist. I love Dixie hey. Kratz in the South, which he still holds the same ideology today. No, so. whole, no everyone uh, so here. And the whole world, too. About. So. The Don't brown man and the white you, man and the black man and the... Um, with his um, blaming America for everything. They remember that there are different factions. In I haven't America blamed America have been, for a single thing in this discussion. I don't know side why. Of good and evil for centuries, and he is fighting right now on the side of evil. I haven't blamed America for a single thing in this entire discussion. I don't know why you came prepared said, with so many talking points said, that have nothing to do with me. About America, so what do you? Well, I said I said a revolution in this country, yeah, like capitalism. But capitalism affects the whole world, yeah, not just America. Which is an American system. No, no, no. Invented capitalism. By Americans. At least the modern day form. Of so wait, when you say Which I want the other countries, when you say I want a socialist so revolution, wait, wait, wait. First of all, John, whoa, 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 it's fucking so no, no, no. It's British. So like first of all, it is like factually us. British. If you're talking about John Adams and the historical the contingencies, the Protestant war. Whoa, 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 I'm sorry. Listen, I, listen. I studied theory. I went to college. I'm sorry. This ignorance will whoa, not stand. It is college. objectively a British system, <laughs> and it is spread to the entire world, say very small pockets across. Okay. So when I say I want to socialist revolution what i am actually saying is i love you 
I love my brother, I love my neighbor, I love everyone in this country and beyond, and I want us all to benefit from a more prosperous, humane economic system. That's what I'm talking about. Has nothing to do with hate in America. But I do, though. (laughs) Next up, thanks for your super chat. Uh, We appreciate it. Andrew Thapil, good to see you. He said, I agree with Vosh, but why did he assume that Jill was black and based upon how he speaks, that's racism. Plenty of white dudes in the hood speak a a v e uh, african american um vernacular english um okay okay listen uh, pardon me for not being libcucky enough for this discussion we can all like feign for the most part generally sometimes it's pretty possible to tell what a person's um uh, uh race is by their speech okay 100 percent. listen this has nothing to do with what some weird like prescriptivist bio race realism stuff it just tends to be possible okay if people want to be super weird about that that's fine i'm just being real okay it's easy to tell i'm white from my voice I, I, I don't know if anyone could disagree with that. So I do. I'm not a racist. All right. Well, I, I applaud you for your lack of racism. And you know what? I'm going to work on it in the future. I apologize to any people that yes, I offended. please. Because, you know, they admit they're, they're handing out quarter million dollar fines for misgendering. So No, they're not. You know, so be careful. Wait, where are they so doing that? Can you provide a citation for that fraudulent claim City. you just made? And what does this have to do with misgendering? I don't misgender people. Do you misgender people? New York City. New York City. Interesting. You know the law that was passed in New York City only has to do with employers and with landholders and only um, protects trans people in relation to how um, people of other genders, races, ethnicities, nationalities, or sexualities would be protected? Yes. Yeah, quarter million, like I said. Yeah, okay. So yeah, so so trans people are protected in the exact same way every other demographic status is protected. It's called a protected class. It's a very American thing. It's been happening for centuries. And who decides who the protected classes are? The last uh, it is a legal right, process. The state let Oh, you just ask and you don't It's a pro- Do you question. know? You, the state legislator, the state legislator have. discusses it. Do you want me to find like the specific legislators who voted yes on the bill? And if you're in California, unfortunately, you're not allowed to carry concealed because of those leftist state legislators. It's not left. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's not left. But so please, California please, God, for my sake, please, God, it's not, it's not leftist. Male, it's like it's liberal. Liberals uh, are the Democratic uh, Party. Yeah, yeah. Listen, li- well, I can help you. I can help uh, you. Okay. Right, no, right, I can right. help you. I can help you. I'm here to help the you. The left okay? has taken over the Democratic Party. I'm ready party. to help you. Okay. Listen, until. Okay. Listen. The Democratic Party is full of liberals. When you start seeing people in the Democratic stage talk about killing landlords and destroying private property, then you can say the Democratic okay. Party is leftist. Oh, the laws for concealed carry in California were voted in by liberals who believe there. in capitalism. Okay? We're almost there. Okay. All right. Well, a God, well, God fucking speed. Please, God, give me a socialist revolution. Get me the fuck out of here as quickly as possible. Holy yeah. shit. I can't take another. You'll be the first one they throw in the FEMA camp. Do you have any... The FEMA camp? That's like an old-tier conspiracy theory. You're a fucking boomer, my you'll dude. First, you'll be in Walmart shopping, and it'll just transform into a FEMA camp. You won't even know what hit you. Damn. Like, I, gotta keep, I gotta watch out for it. I've played Deus Ex, too. Like, like Megaplex from Transformers. Next up, thank you for... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, you guys have got chemistry. Uh, I f- yeah, I feel like we. I uh, listen. Hey, Jill. Uh, like all politics aside, listen. Do you like? Do you play video games? I don't really play much, but the sports games now. All right, I respect that. Okay, just checking. All right, no, sorry. Okay, you probably got a bunch of super chats to go through. <laughs> like long lost brothers, you guys are tight. You got a good connection. This is a uh, really enjoy it. So thanks for that. Next up, thanks. Stupid whore, this is her, she calls herself this. Stupid whore energy, thanks for your super chat. She says, what do you think of when a caucus member told Trump that cuts to welfare programs would hurt her constituents? Quote, not all of whom are black. The president, re- the president replied, really? Even though most are white. This is a little bit, let me know if I need to read it again because I'm piecing it together myself. Was that, I guess that was directed towards me. I I think. Oh, okay. Um, uh, if I could if I could see it in um in uh, um writing, if you could like copy paste it and then post it into the chat of your um of your stream, sure. I'd be able to get, parse it immediately. Gladly. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, uh, those those blacks that are still stuck on the democratic plantation, um, not all of whom are black, really. They believe that welfare benefits is a good thing, um, and. So they're afraid of the Republican Party who not, they just don't want to cut the funds. See, the left will presume this as cutting funds because their goal is to divide people like 
Bosh. Uh, their goal is to divide us. I'm, I'm so not push, a Democrat. They'll, they'll push the fact that Republicans want to reform and get rid of waste and get rid of fraud. Then um, why so does the deficit do keep rising every time a Republican president comes say, in? They keep say rise, raising the de deficit. You realize the say, Trump tax cuts are deficit spending, right? Uh -huh. They'll say that that's a cut, quote unquote. So you have to read into that word cut a little bit. I don't know what that had to do with anything, carefully. but in response to the question, it sounded like the caucus member assumed Trump was racist and Trump affirmed that assumption. Um, yeah, I mean, welfare is typically in America, welfare and the expectations of welfare are typically associated with black Americans because we th this is largely part of a propaganda war. Um, uh, uh, for example, um, like uh, Ronald Reagan and like the welfare queen, there's a bunch of propaganda depicting like the where the welfare comes from. Oh, it's from like inner city blacks who are living it up on lobsters or whatever. Um, a lot of that is just horseshit propaganda. There are a lot of very poor black communities. Um, I think it's very unfortunate. It's a product of longstanding socioeconomic divides that that um that um that can be addressed but they can't be addressed just by cutting all welfare programs or any dumb shit like that they have to be um they have to be addressed through targeted policy meant to revitalize certain areas which which will take money but we have the money we just need to not spend it on the military um for just a little bit see again you um what you just heard was the rhetoric that's coming from the the left which is pushing the narrative which is the result was resulted in the question uh trump never claimed no republican ever claimed this is but this is what they've been brain how they've been brainwashing black people over the past decade no republican ever claims to cut all as you heard bob say entitlement programs or welfare so that's a, just another form of mind manipulation <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay up, orchestrated okay. by no, your my apologies next up 21st century socialist, thanks for your super chat. They said, Jesus, the original anarchist, bless the commune. Okay. True. Sorry, that took me a second. I had to, I had to take a deep breath for that one. Uh, he, bought his, he bought his brown shirts with him. Cap. Wait, me? Wait, wait, was yeah. me or was that a Nazi joke? Because brown shirts were like the Nazi street gangs. Yeah, yeah. I, I see that you brought them with you in the chat. Ah, okay. Yeah, gotcha. And, and the black shirts too. Hey, listen, Next. we all hate Nazis here. We love black people. Next up, Cap, Genji or Genji, forgive me. They said, Jill, are you a Nazi? Yes or no? Stop messing around. Was Jesus the Messiah? <laughs> yes. So, so yes to you? Is Jesus and, Yahweh? Is Jesus God? I mean, yes. So does that mean, are you saying yes? I think he's saying yes. All right, well. It took us a while, but we got an affirmative, even if it's in biblical code. All right, we got it. Thank you. I appreciate your forthcomingness. Oh, look, AR is in the chat. It often takes me two hours to answer a question, too. T. Gwyn, thanks for your super chat. They said, Jesus called a woman a dog in Matthew 15, 21 through 28. I think they're wanting a response from you, Jill. That's hot. Correction. He called her a puppy. Oh, look at the little puppy. Oh. Got you. You, would, you would you would protest to keep that puppy alive before the unborn um wait wait, wait. i'm wait i'm very much in favor of dog abortions please do not do not straw man me bro i am very you much would, you would climb a tree to protect that dog but i would climb a tree right to protect a living baby of, too a woman to take the life of an unborn human so please spare me what is liberal. it wait I didn't say Next anything. Question. Wait, what does this have to do with I'm anything? I was, to the I was gonna, I was gonna make a joke about like it being a kink thing, but we're going okay. We're doing a, we're doing the abortion route. All right, that's a direction we can take it too. Gotcha. Next up, thanks so much, Lucy and Raphael. Appreciate your super chat. They said, "Ask Jill for thoughts on tyrannical family courts." I don't know what that is. Me neither. Stupid horror energy. Oh, yeah, I, I got one comment on that one. Okay, listen, I got one comment. All right. Men sometimes get shafted in a family court. When they do, it's because we societally expect women to be better housekeepers and child rearers, okay? We gotta smash the patriarchy for men. That's what I'm talking about. Well, uh, first you have to stand up to the Femi Nazi wife that you I do. I hate who, Femi Nazis. I love who, men. Who says she wants to take the life of your unborn child and you say, okay, woman's rights. Wait, woman's choice. Wait, what if it's they both body, wanna, honey. what if they both wanna body. take, what if they See both wanna take, Here's, I'll call a cab. Hold on, let's let's what let them respond. Data. What if they both want to take the life of a um of the of the baby? Is that fine? 
if it's not that a feminist just thing? But... The Bible to be correct because it talks about human depravity in Romans nine. Ah, uh, okay. Duly noted. Gotcha. Uh, let's see. Stupid, <laughs> stupid or energy. Thanks for your question. She uh, says, Jill, when will you be officially changing your name to Uncle Ruckus? I I hope whoever said that is not of the Caucasian persuasion because that would make you a racist. <laughs> Next up, according to the left. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. According to liberals, according to the left. Oh, according to oh, okay, according to yeah. the left, according to liberals, not according to yeah. you. So you're okay with yeah. getting called an Uncle Ruckus? Uh, you watch if you ever want to watch liberals eat themselves. Watch the Democratic debates where they started calling everyone and their mama a racist right there on the platform. I'm calling you a racist. I'm calling you out. Clown show. I'm calling you out. Clown? Like clown world? Is that more Nazi dog whistling from you? Sir. 2020. There's nothing you can do about it. Lefty. I understand you're upset. I'm a Delaniac. Delaney 2020. Okay. He's going to slide on into our hearts. A lot of your rage came out in today's debate. I think you need to forgive your mother. Next up. Okay. Thank you. Point five point oh. Thanks for your super chat. They said, "Can everyone say trans rights?" Trans rights. Easiest, easiest question of my life. The only Transformers I know are Megatron and Optimus Prime. Do you like Megatron and Optimus Prime? And uh, uh, Starscream was my favorite. You like Starscream? What if Starscream's yeah. robot form was a dude, but when Starscream turned into a car, the car was referred to by female pronouns? How would you feel about that? It'd be like the car would be pink, but then the robot would be like big and masculine. Well, because they are scientifically not in the category of uh, our species, I wouldn't care what you called them. Damn, but if that's you were talking about. I'll the take human that. Species, nope, you don't. No, nope, no, nope, that's totally fine. You don't care what pronouns they go two. by. That's fine. They're they can transform. Two. We're good. We can stop right there. That's good. That's the closest we're getting. Yeah. So we're human beings. So we were not created to transform, like Next. those robots in that fiction. Uh, Next up, TV thank show. you for your commentary on Transformers. Uh, we Joe Hinkle Hinkle too. Thanks for your super chat. They said Jill is Jesus a neo Nazi true jesus well i don't know what a neo-nazi is remember we don't have a definition of neo-nazi that doesn't apply to robert bird that doesn't apply to thomas jefferson wait yes uh, wait, wait i definitely do and you never that doesn't for apply one. to um the founder of we are all party. neo-nazis on this blessed day uh-huh nice that doesn't apply to lyndon b johnson that doesn't apply to um uh, do you does it really quickly tears. really quickly wait really quickly the trail of tears with the smoke American, mirrors with the wait, wait, really quickly American, i have one question i have one question okay who led with, the t- trail of tears with one i well i i mean i know Andrew uh, with one Jackson, the yeah, founder of your party yeah and i don't like the democratic oh, party why do you okay. keep doing no, that no, no, listen one you. question one question smoke and the mirrors gone okay party. one quick question does it make you feel bad that you have to lie to defend your points uh, I defended Trump quite well. You were the one who were over two, and then failed. So to no, come back you, to the it doesn't. Box. It doesn't bother you. You can it, call you me don't Clayton mind. Kershaw. He refused to come to his third at bat. Okay, just I'm curious. I was just wondering because I personally, when I because nor because I have a background in sociology, I like I'm very grounded in how I approach two down most to issues. The ninth two and um, oh, hold on. I'm very grounded Gosh. in how I approach most issues. I like to think like if my positions are good, I can defend them. Uh, honestly, I can like go out there and defend them without having to use any like trickery or misplacement of logic to to sort of like substitute for a good argument. And sometimes when I argue with people, sometimes when I argue with people, I feel like they're playing a sports game where they know the refs aren't looking. So they think that they are making a good point when all they're doing is like um, relying on tricks meant to obfuscate the point of the issue. And it makes me feel really weird. Like, do we actually care about what happens to our world or do we just care about like how we look? You yeah, know, it sounds like something I would have written in my eighth grade social studies class. Next up, uh, can we give him a third up. shot when we're done, James? When we're done the questions, can we give him a third try? Perhaps he was batting ninth Next and up. I pitched a no hitter. He didn't get a chance to. Just to try to get through as many questions as possible. Uh, E-L, or so L Jest, if I'm, forgive me if I mispronounce it. They said, Jill, are you in favor of trans rights? He just said he is. He said he is. Don't take it back. No takes these backsies. Trans already have rights. Just like anyone else in America. They have the same rights that I do. Am I in favor of trans special rights? No. 
Gotcha. Okay, thanks very much. Next up, Ga Gage Paragon. Thanks for your super chat. They said, if you want, I could teach you how to make a bomb out of a roll of toilet paper and a stick of dynamite. <laughs> Is that an inside joke? Okay, thanks for that. Talking I, I he must have read Solidinsky. Gosh, I know that's totally going to get flagged by YouTube. Uh, talking head, thanks. I shouldn't have read. They said, Jill, are there any positive aspects to slavery? Thanks for your, your super chat, talking head. Slavery is um, condemned in the Bible. It's The not. punishment for slavery was death. No, it's scripture. not. The um, Bible so, explicitly yeah, defended am, slavery. No, it's no, 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 no. Hold on. You may lie about everything else, slavery, but if you pretend to be, if question. you pretend to be a man of God, I, you cannot again, lie about I the Bible. Apologize. I apologize, audience, for this man's behavior. Am I answering? Does anyone else think it's disgusting that this guy falls back in the Bible for all of his questions, but he's lying about the contents of the Bible the too? Bible Do you have any principles, sir? Are you even black, sir? Did you even grow up in New York? Answer the question. The Bible is the keystone to our faith. Well, so of course, I'm going to refer to it when referring to my. It only works if you beliefs. don't lie about it. Okay, it. so the Bible condemns slavery. Slavery, slave. It does not. It actively advocates put, for slavery. Slave trade. Exodus twenty-one two eleven. Do you want us to read slave, together? Do you want to read it together? Traders, slave traders were put to death, even if you were found with the person you had kidnapped, uh, or even if you had already sold that person. Uh, and you, so you couldn't say, well, I already stole that slave. And no, you were still put to death. So when a man stole... sells his daughter as a slave, she is not to leave as the male slaves do. If she is displeasing to her master who chose her for himself, then he must let her be redeemed. He has no right to sell her to foreigners because he has acted treacherously towards her. This is a this is a ad, this is a support um, of slavery and uh, with rules on how to treat your slaves. Typically, no, it, if a Bible uh, sir, is sir, if a Bible has sir, commentary on sir, slavery and it's again, telling you. Please? Can you read that first? These sentence? are rules for how to treat Can you your read the slaves. First sentence again, please. Because I don't think you read. You're saying this is rules for slaves, but this is not. Exodus 21. Slave. Do you know the Bible? Exodus 21 to 11. Exodus. Again. When a man sells his daughter as a slave. His who? His, who? his daughter. Okay. So this is nothing to do with. This what is slavery. Call, it says slave in the Bible. Call, Wait, I'm sorry. Wait, do you slavery. hate women? Do you hate women people? Do you think it's okay so, to sell your daughter into slavery? Um, hold on, so hold, on me, hold on. Wait, 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 Jim? Wait, really quickly, Jim. That's a different this debate. guy this guy does not care about the contents of the Bible whatsoever, and there is no point in discussing it with them. If he's unironically so, going to argue that, that this isn't an a an a, a, a support for slavery. That's a man making a decision for his household that is not Yes, yeah, selling them into slavery. That is a pro slave uh, okay. decision. So, you are a liar. Liar. Jesus would spit debate. at your feet, you satanic, disgusting man. I bet you voted for HRC in 2016. You we lie about the Bible. HRC. You lie about its contents. You don't give we a damn about what Jesus wrote about. You don't give a damn about yeah. what his prophets or what his um, what his apostles said. All you care about is defending your pre-existing bigotry using a Bible you don't even know the contents of. Holy I shit. I have some modicum of respect for the religious folk, even though I am not, because I admire people who stand by their principles. Man, are you the, the same cannot be said about you. Are you the only child? No. How did I know that? What is this? Ha I said no. You said how about I know that when I said no. Hey, I've got siblings, sure? dude. How many? Uh, why, why the fuck do you want to know about my family so bad? Are you a middle? pedophile? Do you are you into that? Do you want to know about my know, younger? It seems as though you my kid attention. folk. Are you into that? Do you want to go for them? Right, I'm gonna, listen, I will die protecting my fucking kid Jesus brother from your you, hands. So even if you grew up without a father, we have a. Father. I know how you Jesus loving types like to treat little boys. I'm keeping you well the fuck you. away from my brother. Who boy? And you don't know about the Bible. All you know about is sweet fucking underage boy pussy. That's what this kid's here for. You don't have to filibuster and move the goalposts to talk about slavery because you couldn't prove slave Trump was a racist. What is this? You, you actually, wait, listen, slavery listen, was brought listen, up by on, a I, super I, chatter and you I, lied about the contents I of the Bible. You, you like lie. Me. You lie about what the Bible yeah, has sir, to say. You, you, you are you a man of read, Satan. You could you are evil. You are a you are a child of the lie. You are a child of the lie. <laughs> child of the lie. If you wanted to child of the lie. Child of the lie. Forgive me, you guys. Okay, give one second, you guys. Um, I let's see if it's really, really quick, uh, Jill. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I want to quick go on to the next uh, question. Yeah, yeah. Okay. If he wants to debate me on the Bible, we can have a debate on the Bible. 
All right, that is another. Why you just lied about the content of the Bible right there? Why would I ever? You don't care. You're a child of the lie. James just gave me the floor. Let me have a say for at least sixty seconds before you jump in, please. Thank you. Again, I apologize to the audience for this man's behavior. His atheism is acting up, and um, it's responsible for what you're seeing um, here today. Trump is not a racist. He couldn't prove that. So now he's moving the goalpost to have another debate about uh, something entirely. That's a funny way of saying you lied about something in response to a Um, super chat, and I corrected your lie. If you need help reading the Bible, and this goes not just for you, Vash, but for the atheists in the audience, um, I give Bible classes for free. Get that. I don't charge a dime. And, yeah, because uh, you you're because you're you're word ain't worth a you. dime. You lie to your students. I invite, I invite you to come, and uh, we can have that discussion about what was going on when a parent makes a decision for his family. When Listen, I'm yeah, family. like selling your daughter. Pa- parent making a decision for his family. You mean selling his daughter as yeah. a slave? Yeah, my dad sold me into slavery. Really? Mm-hmm. Next. Yeah. Same. Uh, according to that verse, this is supposed to be principle. quick. Yeah, Jill, this is supposed to be quick. Yeah. We're going to try to jump to the next one. Posadas John, thanks for your super chat. He said, Jill doesn't like FEMA camps. What about ICE camps? Oh, ICE camps are great. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Mother J Disco, thanks for your super chat. They said, Jill wouldn't be a Nazi if he embraced sexy marks. True. I think, Jill, I think Jill's just a little pent up. Jill just needs a little bit of R&R. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry. I don't speak atheist. I mean, whoa, 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 you don't speak Christian either because you just fucking lied about the Bible. So maybe I'm you should sorry. speak atheist. Maybe that language would be a little I bit more favorable to your tongue. And it says no homosexual, no sodomite will enter the kingdom of God. Damn, well, I read the Bible and it didn't say no slavery. So I don't know why I should trust wow. your word in the Bible. So again, we could we can have that discussion. Also, sexy marks is any gender my, you want them to be, okay? On my channel, I don't want to take up. Marxism uh, transcends the male form and identity. Next up. Thanks for your questions. Gage, and, uh, Gage Paragon, thanks for your question. They said, th- this is regarding their making a bomb out of toilet paper. They said it was a quote from Dale Gribble. I'm sorry. Gribble. Huh. Well, since your favorite Sarabia, thanks for your super chat. Glad to see us. Uh, does, they asked, does Trump's Christianity play a role in politics or Islam? Since majority of terrorism, since the majority of terrorism is domestic, why don't we hate on their religion? I think he's maybe saying that. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what he's saying. I was, at first, I was thinking he was saying like the Christian religion, because Christians like can, that if they're most of most of the domestic people are Christian. So, do you guys understand this question? Um, I am not personally. No, I'm. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I think he's underscoring the lie of systematic or institutional racism, which um, is claiming to come from the right when it's in fact coming from the left. Uh, so they are the ones who are guilty of murder, uh, execution style of two cops in New York City in 2014, uh, and the plus the five in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Uh, in Dallas a couple of years ago, 2016. So um, it's the anti-Christian, it's the anti-Trump rhetoric that, uh, including the Ferguson lie, they even called it the Ferguson effect because it affected more black people. Um, I don't know what we're talking because about Because right of now. Obama's at false accusations. Obama is a puppet of the left, same organization that this man supports no again um, uh, obama is not leftist a leftist and, hate obama um, he, i said he was a leftist puppet well then we did a really bad job with all the fucking drone oh, strikes no, you didn't, because his accusations about cops caused them to pull back in the black you don't have to be a leftist to have a problem with how cops conduct themselves in america listen okay listen i don't care if you if you're really into the idea of getting stomped on and beaten to death by cops that's your sexual perversion i'm not interested i'm a child of god what's the next super chat the recent fbi report showed we will just go through a few more questions and then we'll probably wrap up just to try to respect the uh, time of our debaters we appreciate them being here they're linked in the description just a quick reminder and Sister Fredo Sarabia, uh, thanks for that super chat. Then watch me, thanks for your super chat. They said, question for Vash, how does he feel about the philosopher Jay Reg? And can we watch his teaching <laughs> on stream? 
<laughs> Tell him to go find his IP address through your logs and dox him. Gotcha. Don't actually do that. No, okay. J Reg's cool. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I, uh, Aurora, thanks for your super chat as well. They said, Christian socialists are ever more consistent and caring. What do you think of them, Apples? No Jill? such thing as a Christian socialist. Did there is, and it's, it's got a Wikipedia article about it, and socialism has heavy oh, roots in Wikipedia Christianity. Wikipedia said it. They, would, they didn't even allow us to As opposed to what you said, buddy. Um, hey, Vosh. Mm -hmm. Wikipedia is not our authority. What is what does this have to do with anything? If I was saying Wikipedia, like you could go look it up if you wanted to. Christian socialism is a thing. Oh, Christian so anarchy true. is actually a thing as well. Oh, because Wikipedia said it was a thing. No, it's a thing because it has centuries of historical precedent and theory written on it. But, oh, okay. but Wikipedia has written on that history. Yeah, yeah. No such thing as a Christian socialist. Jesus was a Jesus um, was a socialist who advocated he was against a rich people. He ad come, dude, he come on. He advocated he against rich people. He the only time he the got Bible. angry was when he tossed aside the tables of those who were gambling in his halls. He said it would be easier to pass a camel through the eye of a needle than for a Praise. rich man to enter heaven. Praise. Jesus was up. unquestionably an early kind of collectivist, a socialist or an anarchist. Hey, I understand that your particular form of brain worms compels you to disrespect the word of your oh, Lord at every given opportunity. Add, but unlike you, I love Jesus. Okay, man. So if we were to take a James, if we were to take clips, uh, he. He would have to have the 50th ad hominem by now. Uh, praise, gotcha. we need to set up a uh, coalition of the willing. Whoever is willing to help this man, me, you, uh, one way, uh, learn how to read the Bible. Uh, the Bible teaches responsible capitalism. You're to be responsible. Capitalism didn't capital. exist when the Bible was written. You have no idea what you're talking about. It you came up with concept, all of your positions sir. first, and you are justifying it post hoc with it the Bible. You are doing concept. it in ways Not that actively point. contradict the messaging of the Bible. Not and it's and I genuinely find it disgusting that people who claim to be religious oh, can uh, can succumb so can hard. Can you just answer to respond instead of throwing uh, five different? Uh, I have responded to every single uh, claim that you have made and provided counters. Right, and when I finish talking, up. you then start rambling okay, about how tr actually 20% of second. blacks want to vote One for second. Trump. One second. So sorry, guys. Just to uh, try to speed through. Thomas W., thanks for your super chat. They said, question for Vosh. What's your source on police brutality? I'm curious. I never made any claim on police brutality concerning sources. I, I, at no point during this discussion did I make any such claim. Police brutality disproportionately affects people of color. Um, it does, however, in total numbers affect more white people because there are more white people than black people, obviously, in this country. Um, it is a problem, and there has been plenty of evidence that has been corroborated both through, in, um, both through nonprofit organizations, legal organizations, and through the Justice Bureau, indicating that some police departments, namely those studied, there was one in Baltimore, Ferguson, um, are, uh, engage in um, uh, uh, prejudiced behavior when deciding how to conduct their police affairs concerning the respective differences between white and black communities. So my evidence would come from those. I don't have sources on hand at the moment, but nonetheless, these are extremely reputable, well-regarded sources from a wide variety of groups, many of whom do not have a direct political interest in any given answer. Gotcha. Thank you very much. And then top, thanks for your super chat. Last one of the day said, Jill, are you a Nazi or not? Yes or no. No questions back. No hiding behind IDPOL. Id poll. Uh, join the Blexit movement if you're African-American. Get away from the Democratic Party. They <laughs> are the neo-Nazis. The neo-Nazis are found on the left. I think they this guy might actually the, be mentally ill. They never left the Dixiecrat Party. They still, all they did was change their attire. They took off the hood and they put on a YouTube channel uh, by, under the name Bosch. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, so and they the put only on two, shirts there are two conclusions. Badges, there are two conclusions one could arrive at. Um, at the end of this discussion on vest, on and I leave it I leave it to the audience to decide because I'm not capable of deciding myself it is either that Jill is mentally ill and incapable of processing reality or that Jill does not believe anything that he has said and that he is a troll as he admitted before on Cirrus's stream and that his only interest is promoting a right-wing agenda no matter what troll that actually Jesus. involves saying troll for Jesus yeah, All right. Fact. Well, personally, I want to say, hey, man, so listen, wait, wait, really quickly, because we're wrapping up now. I want to say, listen, I love you. I think you're a piece of shit human being. I really do. 
But I, in spite of that, will continue to fight for the rights of you and everyone who looks like you and everyone who doesn't look like you, because I believe okay. fundamentally in a brotherhood of humanity and we will all benefit from the policies that I advocate all right, so for. Let, great. That's great. That's another round of applause. Now, when Mexico said that it send its people, uh, when Trump said that Mexico is not sending uh, its people over here or sending its people over here when he made that comment just to respond to another one of your false charges so you can go over three because usually in baseball games you have three at bats not two what are you um, talking he about he said what his exact quote was when mexico sends its people they are, are you not trying to do this again their best okay we're going to we're i think is it okay if we wrap up with that <laughs> that's fine yes. that's just totally because- fine yeah, um, so. Are you okay with that, Jill? I don't want to shortchange you. Just to um, be- yeah, I just wanted to say. So Trump, Trump is not a racist. He was referring to the uh, effort of the government there to send the worst, the MS-13 gang members um, who are causing problems along the border. Uh, they're bringing drugs. They're bringing crime. He said. So he was referring to a certain element. Not all Mexicans is what the left wanted you to believe. I think mental illness might actually be a more accurate diagnosis here. I don't know if anyone can commit to the bit that hard. It's possible to yeah. claim you're a troll and actually just be fucking delusional. Because I'm quoting what the man said and not what the left has brainwashed you to believe. Wait, wait. I'm said. sorry. Wait, wait. Really quickly. Really quickly. Really quickly. We both have the same quote. You're when just Mexico lying about how people, it's interpreted. They're not sending their best, Trump who does, Wait, who does Mexico send? You. Wait, who does Mexico they're send? Not, really quickly, this is the only question I have. Who does Mexico I send? Share and I'll show you who they're sending? I don't know. I don't care if you have like a picture of spooky brown people parent, with tattoos. Parent descri- parent I don't, no, 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 no I don't advice. care. You can describe how spooky they look. I'm asking you, who does Mexico send? Because to my um, knowledge, Mexico never invoked any policy demanding people cross the border into the U.S. When Mexico, this is the quote, when Mexico sends its people... Who does Mexico so send? Wait, Trump, what does that mean? That implies that Mexico is invoking policies to send people. People are coming not, from Mexico. They're not who's stopping sending? them. That's the point. So who's sending Mexicans? So you could be Mexicans? explicit in your behavior. Or you who's can be sending? Who is sending? What policy? I, I never said anyone had see. to send. They can <laughs> just guys. You just said Stand Trump's... Down. All right, no, that's okay. Hey, Jim. That. Yes. You know who I love the most here? No, I don't. I love you for giving me the opportunity to speak with such distinguished individual. That's, I appreciate you both being here. It's been a pleasure. Want to let everybody know out there, in addition, not only are our speakers linked in the description, so you can hear more if you'd like to hear more. Also, want to let you know, whether you be uh, on this, this is probably our maybe our most controversial thing we've hosted, whether you be for or against Trump, either side, whether you be Republican, Democrat, LGBT, all, every group, we want you to be able, basically feel welcome here. I know that it's, lively in the chat today was like oh my gosh um and i uh, you know i'm sorry that sometimes it's the way that it is it's a, it's a little bit more crazy today but we do want to let you know we, we really do appreciate you being here and so thank you both vash we really appreciate you being here and we appreciate you jill being here as well of course i think by the way you do wonderful work in getting people together for debates i really appreciate that and to everyone who's watching me right now i would encourage you to go to modern day debates channel please check them out look through their uh, catalog of previous debates um they do a lot of groundwork getting people together conveying availability uh, moderating and um that's a lot of hard work that i really do respect and i appreciate it thank you that really means a lot bosh i really do uh i really do appreciate it and so with that, we hope everybody has a great rest of your day. Remember, uh, you know, it's kind of like, hey, we disagree, we debate, but like no reason we can't still be friends. And I appreciate Vosh saying as well that, you know, hopefully we fight for each other's rights. Uh, so damn right. Better world for all of us at the end of this. Thank you, James. Love you. Vosh, Thank appreciate you. it. Love I, you. I love you. I love you, Jill. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Take Vote care. for Trump. <laughs> Have a good night. Keep <laughs> sifting out the reasonable from the unreasonable. Have a good one. Thank you. We are off air on my side. So thank you guys both very much. You can uh, feel free to do whatever you want with the footage. I feel like you guys are the debaters. So it's your footage. You're in the hot seat. So thank you for coming. And uh, let me know if there's anything I can do for you. Yeah, you okay. do a lot of, sorry. Yeah, you do a lot of really good work for your, for your I'm still live, of course. So no end words. I, you, you do a lot of really good work. I really appreciate it. And I appreciate you reaching out to me for this. Thanks. Well, I really appreciate that. That's encouraging. So. All right. Jim and Jill, both of you have a wonderful day, okay? Okay, you too. See you, James. Thank you. See you, Voss. See you, guys. Goodbye. Fuck you. Take care.